to the Amstream. Welcome to the Zyphi Show this Friday evening and how are we all doing? Whoa! Oh, it's a bit warm in here. It's a bit warm in here. Good Lord. Do you see, if you see me melting like the, uh, what's his name? Oh, I forgot his name. In uh, Indiana Jones and the um, Raiders of the Lost Ark. That's, that might be me. That might be me. <laughs> Firm yourself up, Zypho. What does that mean, Mrs. Zypho? <laughs> anyway, anyway. Oof, oof. Tonight, guys, it's US Gold Night! Um. <laughs> yes, um. Well, they're not known for their top quality games, are they? But they did a lot of them. A huge amount of film licenses, arcade uh, conversions. And even some uh, uh, homebrew stuff. Now, US Gold had a. Um, they're an interesting company. When I when I got a list of games, I'm actually going to actually. I forgot to do this earlier. I've tried to draw up a full list of their games, and I know there's going to be ones missing and some contention over whether a game should be on a list or not. So I'm going to put this in my Discord in the uh, Amstream live sharing section. To Amstream live sharing section. I'm going to put them in there now. Oh, bloody hell. Um, it's too big to post in one go. Right, so if you want to see the list of games, they will be in my Discord in the Amstream live sharing section. And you guys can like make requests for games for me to play tonight from that list. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's there now in my Discord. Um, there's bloody hundreds of them. So, US Gold on an interesting one because not only were they a publisher of games, they were also a manufacturer, manufacturer and distributor. And a lot of companies, big companies, use them for their manufacturing distribution. So, and also they, they were in cahoots of Ocean. Ocean owned part, uh, 50 percent of the shares, I think. Uh, for um, an investment for when they started up. But don't worry, no Ocean Games tonight. But US Gold had a few sub-labels uh, as well. So when I was saying companies use them for distribution, we have an example of a game. What was it called? Oh, bloody hell. I think it was called Revolution. That some suggested was a US Gold game. That actually technically kind of isn't. Let's have, let me get the packaging up. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. One second. And I'll bring this up on stream, just so people know. Just so people know. Get a browser capture. So here's a game called Revolution, uh, which appeared on some US Gold compilations. It's actually from Vortex Software. If you see the bottom here, manufactured and distributed by US Gold. So does this, does this count as a US Gold game? I'm going to say no. For tonight and other streams but if people want to disagree feel free <laughs> I'll listen to your feedback if you want me to include sort of games like this uh, I can do I can do but yeah manufactured distributed by US Gold so there are instances of that as I was saying US Gold do have their own sort of sub labels um, so there's a sub label called Gold or Go sorry Go it's called and you'll find games like Trantor the last stormtrooper on there which is like not a licensed game. Now typically US Gold started by 
Uh, Jeff Brown, import, fi finding games in America and importing them to the UK. Striking, striking deals to become the UK distributor or EU distributor or whatever. Um, so they've often just been doing, like, getting licenses or bringing over American games. And by the, by the late 80s, they were just like getting licenses. But there are sub labels like Go, independent, uh, like independently made stuff, or what, like you know, like Trantor. And there's also a label called um, Oh, there's Epics. Epics, one of their own company in America. The US Gold Pack did basically everything for them in the UK and Europe. So we are including Epics games tonight, like California Games, Impossible Mission Two, for example, is another one. Um, there we go. There was also Datasoft as well. But I don't know quite know their relation. I think they were an American company. But they, again, US Gold, like Epics, did everything for them in the UK. So from Datasoft, you have Bruce Lee, for example. So I mean, I'm including Bruce Lee in that. that. To me, it's what the games I'm featuring tonight and in that list are what I feel are kind of like US Gold games. Anyway, there we go. So enough waffling. Um, I think I will choose the first game myself tonight and then I'll throw it over to you guys for requests for games from US Gold and we'll do this in several parts. Right, quick drink there. Okay, so what we're going to do now then is do the greetings and take the opportunity to welcome each and every one of you to the chat. So if you watch this on catch up, you may want to fast forward five or ten minutes or so. Um, so first in the chat tonight, we have the Gaming Hamster, bright and early. Um, he says, hello to the gaming people, the seeds in the bedding are flowing today. I bet, I bet. I hope you've had plenty of water in your little um, thing you clipped to the, your, your little water bottle, Gaming Hamster. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Next in we have the legend, that is Pete Walker. Pete. Um, I'm going to have to apologise, but and also give you big love and thanks, because Pete Walker, earlier on today, dropped a £50 donation. Wow. Pete, thank you. First, first thing I need to mention is that because you did it through Super Chat and earlier in the day, the Streamlabs stuff, which picks up alerts, hasn't picked it up so I can't play the alert on stream and have the you know um devil boy thing and all that going off so guys um you're just gonna have to take my word for it can we have some bananas in the chat for Pete Walker um let's give him uh a dancing sugar actually let's give him all the dancing sugars and some fireworks Pete Walker thank you very 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 much for the 50 pound donation that is insane <laughs> thank you man thank you let's see the bananas rain in the chat for pete walker but seriously pete you have like given so uh, you don't you donated huge amounts mate and i kind of worry now that like we're gonna be putting you in financial difficulty i think so i think Novabug as well there is no there's honestly no need to mate but i don't want to make you feel embarrassed either so thank you very very much secondly if you feel like i can immediately refund you and or do it tomorrow if you feel a bit bad or you i don't want you getting financial difficulty or in trouble with the missus pete but thank you very 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 much mate you don't need to do this anymore but thank you mate thank you very 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 much okay well done, Pete. Thank you, everyone, for the bananas there as well for Pete. Also, I should point out, where possible, use the donation link rather than Super Chat because um, they often go a bit wrong uh, with the alerts. And also, YouTube take a cut of it as well, whereas like the normal Streamlabs dono link, um, like no one takes anything of that and it comes through to me. And you can do text-to-speech as well. And the alerts will always work for that. But thank you. Thank you again, Pete. Thank you very much very 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 much man uh, much love to pete walker thank you dude and i hope you're safe and well and coping in this heat thank you man thank you um all right i better get on the greetings sorry guys uh saboteur sneaks in sneaks in to look at the best retro streamer sneaks out <laughs> thank you saboteur <laughs> sneaky little ninja there 
Thank you, Saboteur. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> I love your uh, sense of humour. Next in, we've got Mr. Craig Harrison. Good evening, Craig. How are you doing, mate? Craig's bar himself. House tricks, bad house tricks. Ben Nichols. Good evening, dude. How are you? It's good to see you back on the stream as well. How are you doing, Ben? How's things, man? And thank you for your continued support. Thank you, dude. Thank you. Um, oh, sorry, my chat re-strolled there. Um, uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, it's, Pete says it's all good, trust me. As long as you're sure, Pete. As long as you're sure. Thank you, mate. Thank you. Right, uh, next in, uh, we have Mr. Craig Wilson. Craig, did you guess correctly this evening? I'll see you later in the chat. Welcome, my friends. Welcome. Brian! Brian Hooper, the lovely, lovely Brian. How you doing, buddy? What a crappy day it's been. I hope uh, you all had a great week. I'm looking forward to another bunch of a stream tonight. Thank you, man. If I'm honest with you guys, if I'm completely honest, I have had, I have honestly had the week from hell. Absolutely dreadful, dreadful week. And uh, if it wasn't for popping live on the evenings this week and... Uh, Especially the am stream tonight. I don't know how I would have coped. I would have crumbled and be killed in a ball in the corner of the room crying or something. It's been a truly, truly horrible week. I won't go into details. But I'm look I've been looking forward to this. And immediately my mood has changed as soon as I went live. And saw all you beautiful people here in the chat. But um, there you go. But that's what we're here for. Take our mind off troubles and have a laugh and relax. And hang out with everyone. And enjoy the Amsterdam goodness as well. So welcome, Brian. Welcome. Thank you for asking. Texy88, how you doing, man? Welcome as well. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Well, next thing we have a Darren Carl. It says Am's hugs all around. Yes, Darren. Hugs. Lots of hugs tonight needed. <laughs> welcome, Darren. Welcome, welcome. Arnold, a Lampel. Arnold, how you doing, buddy? Good evening, sir. What's up? It's the Amstream. Welcome, Arnold. How's your retro collection going along? <laughs> and then, ahoy, Johnny boy. Good evening, Johnny boy. Welcome, my friend. Welcome. Looking forward to your top tips, as always. <laughs> um, Robin Hook is here. Hey, he says, hey, Yams fans. Welcome, fellow Yams fan. How you doing, Robin? And how's your uh, Hit Squad collection coming along as well now? Uh, Yasiek, good evening, sir. Welcome back to the stream. Lovely to have you here again, mate. What on earth is that emote? I cannot, I cannot work out what that emote is. It looks like two men mooning each other, touching their butts together with some wee coming out. Anyway, it's probably too far for people to scroll up in the chat to see. We'll try and work out what it is now. But anyway, welcome, Yassiek. <laughs> welcome. Um, uh, who else we got in then? Let's scroll down. Walden Newman. Walden, yes, you're early and on time. Welcome, my friends. I had to start a little bit late tonight. We've got a new YouTube streaming interface. So fingers crossed we won't have any issues tonight. Welcome, my friends. Welcome. Uh, then we have Mrs. Zypho in the chat as well, aka Kate White, aka Tati Taridan. Welcome, Mrs. Zypho. Thank you for my delicious breakfast and your support this week as well. It is much appreciated. Show some love chat to Mrs. Zypho in the chat for me, please. <laughs> Spam us some love hearts or something like that. <laughs> Tazong, good evening, Tazong. How you doing, mate? Welcome, my friend. How have you been this week, mate? How Puck, how you doing, sir? Is always a blonde character from it, my avatar. It's from Zypho's Fantasy, uh, a game on the Amstrad. Beautiful, beautiful graphics. That's where I took my name from. Um, one of the last co commercially released games, I think, on the Amstrad. Welcome, Power Puck. Welcome, Rob DeLorean, roaring into the stream in his gleaming DeLorean. How you doing, mate? Welcome, my friends. How are you? And uh, Mike ZT, good evening, Mike. Gra well done on the marbles last night as well, sir. How are you doing, mate? Welcome, my friend, welcome. Musa, Musa, it's good to see you again, buddy. A proper OG of the streams. He doesn't always get much chance to join in, but it's an absolute joy when he does. Welcome, Musa. How are you doing, man? Welcome, my friend, welcome. Mark Whatever, good evening, sir. How are you? How are you, mate? <laughs> good to see you again, mate. And uh, yes, hopefully last week's stream will get put live soon. Last week's stream got a copyright claim, guys, and which I'm currently disputing and fighting. It could take up to a month to resolve. So if you missed last month, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but it will be hopefully with us soon. 
Um, next to me are Christian Tomford. Welcome, Christian. I recognise the name, but I think you're relatively new to the streams. I don't know. Let us know in the chat if you are. We'll give you a big Amstream welcome from everyone. Welcome, Christian. Next in, we have Mr. Smooth MJ. Hang on, where's my moonwalk? Malk moonwalking into the stream. How you doing, Malk? Lots of love to Malk there. Um, next in, we have... They're scrolling through. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Rainer Watts. Hello, Rainer. Says, hopefully a thunderstorm won't force me to leave quickly up last week. Hopefully not. Thunderstorms are scheduled for Monday, I believe. Monday and Tuesday. So, hopefully not tonight. No. Don't want to power surge taking the stream offline. Good evening, Yellow Belly. How you doing, man, as well? Yellow Belly, are you... Oh, yes, he is. Yes, Yellow Belly is streaming on Sunday, so make sure you check him out on Sunday for more Amstrad goodness and streaming. I'll probably be there for a bit as well. Uh, Sophie Rose. Good to see you, Sophie. Welcome back. Uh, again, I know you don't always get a chance to join in, but it's lovely when you do. Hi, Sophie. Welcome, welcome. Uh, Mark Weekly, good evening, sir, as well. I hope you, hope you and your family have been keeping safe and well. All right. We're getting there. We're getting there, guys, and we'll get the first game up. Um, it was Tots, wasn't it? Tots, thank you, Texty. The, 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 the face melting in Raiders of Lost Ark. Yes, thank you, man. Dave Paul Jones, good evening, my friends. Good evening. Welcome back to the Am stream as well. I hope you're doing okay. Uh, Lied X Fun, welcome. I think this is your first time here, so um, please confirm that in the chat and we'll give you a nice big Am stream welcome. How you doing, Lied? <laughs> I'll call you Lied Fun. Lied Fun. There we go. That's probably easier. Morden, good evening, Mord. How you doing, man? Thank you for your continued support as always. CPC game reviews as well. Nish is here. Hello, my friends. Hello. Great work you do on the Amstrad scene, my friends. All right, Craig, I'm getting on with it. <laughs> Don Bakakero, good evening to you too, sir. How are you, my friend? How are you? Thank you guys for all the bananas there in the chat for Pete Walker. And uh, Pete, I'm sorry again, I can't play an alert for it because it doesn't pick it up uh, a super chat before the stream, apparently. Unlucky. But thank you again, mate. Simon Large, go, uh, hello, my friend. Um, I'm going to sound so new. How do you make a banana symbol? So just type exclamation mark bananas and then, or just copy and paste someone who's done it there. <laughs> That's probably the easiest thing. <laughs> Simon, welcome to the stream, my friend. Welcome. And, and are we nearly caught up with everyone? As you guys know, I like to spend the time welcoming each and every one of you to the chat. I think that is important, uh, especially for the community. And making everyone feel welcome and include, included. Sorry, Jimmy Taylor, hey! How you doing, Jimmy? And hello to Jane. I've got the right name, haven't I? I'm crap with names. Hello, guys. Hi, Jimmy. How you doing, man? Good to see you. Lucas Rainford as well. Good evening, sir. Welcome, my friends. Welcome. A well done on your Tupers High Score Challenge run there. Beardo, good evening, Beardo, and maybe Mrs. Beardo too. Hello. Hello, guys. Welcome, Beardo. How you doing, man? My OG mod. FC Denhard, good evening, sir. It's not as hot here as where you are. Are you still in Poland at the moment, FC? I thought you were on a holiday there. Join the sun. <laughs> anyway, welcome, my friends. Welcome. Um... Right, um, yes, Mark, yeah, we'll get, hopefully get uh, um, put live soon, yes. Oh, yes, Pete Walker will be on a Yellow Belly stream on Sunday, so we actually get to see and hear from the legend himself. You won't need luck, mate, you'll be brilliant. I'm sure you will be, mate, I'm sure you will be. Um, I believe next year, Race of the Lost Art will commemorate its 40th anniversary. Ooh. And do you know, guys, next month... The Amstrad GX4000 will be celebrating 30 years. So expect lots of GX4000 GX goodness from me and my channel and the Amstream in September, guys, as well. Oh! Hey! Craig Wilson with the two pounds for the super chart. You guessed wrong. <laughs> Thank you, Craig. Thank you very, very much. Can we see some bananas in the chat for Craig? 
I'm sorry you guessed incorrectly tonight, but thank you for the dono. And also that puts my mind at ease that the super chats are working as well tonight. Thank you, Mr. Craig Wilson. Very generous man. Very generous man. Enjoy your dancing sugars there. <laughs> oh, Light X Fun is his first time here on the stream tonight. So can everyone tag um, Light X Fun and say hello? And welcome Light X Fun to the stream tonight. So we like to uh, make people feel very welcome here, as always. Welcome, Light. Andy Phillips, welcome to the stream as well. I think I recognise the name, but just in case, are you new to the stream? Just thought we like to make feel everyone, make everyone feel welcome. But I recognise the name actually. Andy, welcome, my friend. Welcome. And we're nearly there. Magic Knight, good evening, sir. Welcome, my friends. Welcome. And if there's anyone I've missed, please say hello in the chat again, and uh, I will give you a nice greeting. I don't want anyone to feel missed out on on October. Thanks for joining the stream of Good Company. Excellent, excellent. And we haven't even got to games yet. Oh. I think I'm going to be nipping to the fridge and, and back quite a few times this night for cold drinks, guys. Oof. <clears throat> and Simmy. Good evening, Mr. Simmy Baseline. Simmy, how you doing, sir? Welcome. Right. Let's get to the first game of the night. I thought we'd start off with something, seeing as like the sun's out and it's really, really super hot, I think we're going to start out with a very, very sunny type of game, or set some set somewhere very sunny. Um, but let's uh, bring it up on here. So... So I'm going to bring it the box art because I always think it looks gorgeous. And I think I'm going to get a t-shirt of this made, actually. We're going to put, I think we're going to start with some California games tonight, guys. Yes, I think we'll do California games to start with. Oh, yes, we could do some Tranta in a bit. We'll take uh, we'll take requests in a little bit. Um, but, yeah, seeing as it's nice and sunny, we're going to have some surfing and beach action and stuff like that to start the stream with so yeah we'll have a big game to start the stream with a hugely huge selling game and also guys notice there's no us gold on the front of the box art we have epics so we are including epics games but if we go over here to the bottom left corner if you see where my mouse is there's the us gold symbol so we're counting this as a us gold game all right right let's get this up Right, let me just find the disc here. Right, off we go, guys. First game. Hey, the Stiggy 2010. How you doing? Welcome to the stream. There's was Chucky the Frisbee about the other day. Is there actually, I don't know, is there a Frisbee event in this one? I know there is in one of these like games. Yes, there's Flying Disc. There you go. That's good timing, isn't it? <laughs> um, is this a French version? What's that? The box art. Oh, it could have been, actually. I'll show you the screen. Uh, Mrs. Beardo called it before you said it. What's that, Beardo? The first game tonight. <laughs> hey, Andrea Wyatt as well. Good evening, Andrea. How are you? The lovely, lovely Andrea. How, how are you doing? And OMG is OSG. How you doing, man? Epics were the king of sports games on the 8-bits. They pretty much were. The multi-event ones, anyway. <laughs> Could have done summer games, actually. That Yeah. But when I think of Sunshine, I think of California and California games. We could do summer games later as well. Right. This was very, very good on the uh, Commodore 64. It wasn't so much on the Amstrad, but it's okay. So I think um, definitely OSG is going to be like, this is better better on the Commodore. <laughs> and he's probably not wrong there. Let's just turn my music down a touch. Okay, who are we going to be sponsored by? Burton? Aren't they a, like a gentleman's clothing brand or something? Also, is my emulator a bit skewed there? Hang on a second. 
it looks like the window is sort of slightly to the left. It's bothering me, but well, I think it is. That's how it is in the game, actually. Anyway, Burton's <laughs> Rad Mag. Is that a porn mag? Bluebird. That's a type, isn't that? I'm thinking of Thunderbirds, but I guess that's a, ch a type of cheap, like, cider or, alco or alcohol that you go and drink in the park. <laughs> Pace of skateboards and whatever. Ocean Pacific. Yeah. Epic Software. Mori Boggy. What the fart is that? We could be sponsored by a frisbee and an official hacky sack. Uh, I think I'm going to choose Bluebird. Oh, hold on. Arnold A. Lampel. With the two euros through the super chat. Let's give him a dancing sugar or two there. Thank you, Arnold. Ah, he's got, we've got lots of sunglasses emotes there. Lovely, yes. <laughs> it's very, very sunny today. Let's see the bananas in the chat there for Arnold. And also, we love the name Arnold because that was the code name of the uh, AMSA 464 in development. It was codenamed Arnold. There you go. Ran uh, anagram of Roland, but just by coincidence. That. Thank you for all the bananas there, guys. And thank you very, very much, Arnold. It's much appreciated. Uh, much appreciated. All right, so I assume I've not missed anyone in the chat for welcomes and greetings. If not, please feel free to say hello again and repost a message if I've missed a message. All right. Sorry, I've got something stuck in my teeth. Ugh. Right, uh, yeah, we'll be, we'll be sponsored by the cheap alcohol. Um, is that correct? Yes. Next event, half pipe. Now, if I remember correctly, this starts off immediately as soon as it loads. I hate that. You should have, like, press fire button to start. So, ju just in case, we'll have a few practices. Um, let me just take a... Sp we'll take a snapshot just in case. California Games 1. There you go. Uh, similarly, the Amiga was called Lorraine whilst in development. It was called Lorraine, the Amiga. I never knew that. <laughs> uh, Maud says it's tricky. What, well, this event? All oh, right. Right, so what you need to do here is actually, I'll get a, a quick display capture up. And we can do this every time if you want to. But the half pipe skateboard. Uh, press 5 one to launch, but it's already launched. Gain speed, push joystick up on skaters going up the side of the ramp. Press me stick down when the skaters going down. Form a stunt, move joystick as shown in the diagram. Uh, you need to stick too soon or too late, or if you hold it too long, you'll fall. After three falls, the event is over. So when you get to the top here and above the ramp, tap right to do an aerial turn. Fire to do a hand plant if you're near the top there. Kick turn at the bottom here. Right, gotcha. Start a kick turn, move the joystick as it indicated in the uh, blah blah blah. Wait until the last moment to start the turn, holding the joystick into the moment before you'd wipe out. Right, so an aerial turn, tap the joystick, blah blah blah. To perform this move successfully, you must be in the air off the edge of the ramp before tapping the joystick. Right? To perform a hand plant, press and hold the fire button as you reach the top of the ramp. Wait, wait to release the button to the board arcs over and turns to the ramp. Right. Score, you score points each turn completely, completely successfully. Score increases the amount of risk you take. You hold a turn until the last moment you get more points. Right, gotcha. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Right. Let me just get them. Right. Right, here we go. Oh, no! I wiped out already. Getting the timing right on this is... What? The sprite disappeared there. I don't understand. Oh, okay, I got it. on I push
push left. What? Timing is timing is quite uh, specific, says Maud. What? Are you kidding me? I push. I'm pushing left. Okay. I think it's just before you reach the... Oh, I got it. Oh! Need a bit of speed, though. I'm getting it. Ah. Oh. Didn't turn in time. Okay. Too late for kick turn. All right, okay. I, pr uh, I pressed left for the kick turn. What? Didn't turn in time. Okay. This is how I get on this game, right? <laughs> I think you got to turn a lot quicker. Okay, I... Oh, bloody hell. Right, let's go. No! Oh. Try that again. See if we can get the hang of this one. I pressed the fire button. Oh, this game. Well, I've got the kick turns down. Oh! No, no, no! Ah! God, the timing on this is so specific. Oh, I was too soon for a kick turn. It tells you at the bottom there. Right. <laughs> what? Why did I fall off there? Turned too long. Okay. It just feels so... It feels too random, the timing on this. Right, come on. Why didn't that work this time? Too soon for kick turn. Okay. Why did that fall? Let go too early. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, is Andrea stuck? What's the matter there, Andrea? Uh, you having a problem? The stream? Uh, let me know if there's a problem. I think OBSG was trying to say take to control F5. I missed what the conversation was there. Sorry. <laughs> um, you have to do it right at the peak. Okay. <laughs> I'm really glad you read those instructions. They really benefited you. <laughs> I'm not doing well. German78, how you doing, mate? Moshing into the stream. Good evening, sir. Wade Aitken as well. Welcome back to the Amstream, Wade. How you doing, buddy, as well? Good evening, sir. Welcome. I'm missing a lot of chat there. Sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, there's a hacky sack game. Yes, yes. And Zombie Peaks. Good evening, Zombie Peaks. How are you doing, buddy? Welcome, my friends. Welcome. 
And Mame Hayes is here. Good evening. How you doing, dude? He says, I think we need a werewolf skateboarding game. That sounds cool. I, I won't disagree with that. Gorka as well. Good evening. Lots of people popping in. How you doing, buddy? Welcome, my friends. Welcome. Uh, <laughs> Mark, whatever thinks this looks awful. <laughs> it's okay. I, I, I don't know if the timings are right here. S something's off. I don't know. Savoy1984. Good evening as well. Welcome. Um, I think I recognise the name, but is, is this your first time here tonight? If so, let us know. I will give you a nice big Amstream welcome. Alex, look, how are you doing as well? Uh, I think I've seen the Commodore 64 version. It's looking really good. It's a new profile pic. Uh, I can't see it, but I wish you can. I'm, I think I've seen your old one, Andrea. I'm not sure. But it may be just cached in YouTube. It might just start popping up for everyone in a bit. First guess of speed. Uh, joy up, run up, slope, joy down. That, uh, sorry, yes. Arnold, I have been doing that, but perhaps I'm doing this, uh, trying to do the things too soon. Bloody hell. Right, let's try this again. What? Turned too long. I literally tapped the direction. Bloody hell. This event is well annoying me. Okay, off we go. Come on, come on. What? Oh, thank you, Zombie Peaks. Yes, if everyone here tonight could give me a thumbs up and like on the video, I would very, very, very much appreciate it. Thank you. Now it won't turn. Okay. Now it won't turn at all again. I, I just don't get this. Didn't turn in time. I left it too late. Right, okay. Won't turn again. <laughs> too soon for a kick turn. It says in the manual you can do the kick turn at any point. Ah! I'm pushing left. I swear to God, guys. I am pushing left. Maybe the timing's wrong somewhere. I, I don't know. Right. What What's wrong now? What is wrong with that? Let go too early. Okay. All right. All right. Time for a Snickers IFO. <laughs> Neutrino, how you doing, buddy, as well? How's tricks, man? Come on. Oh, okay. Right, I need some speed. What now? What, 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 what now? Turns too long. Okay. Game over. All right, we'll give us a couple more goes. All I want to do is like an aerial um, turn, which is where you fly off the top and spin round. Again, what? Do a 720 next. <laughs> I'll try. Maybe this time. Come on. No, not enough speed. Let me just check something here. Well, this. Maybe get my speed up. Can I do... No. Wait, let me do it. Right. It says something in the instructions. You can do a fakey. To fakey, 
Hold the joystick up or down for the full duration of the ramp from top to bottom. Remember that you'll wipe out if you go too fast. Above all, to get sure plenty of practice on the half fight. So it's a way of cheating speed. F to do a fake, you hold the joystick up and down for the full duration of the ramp. Okay. That gave me nothing. Tried to do the aerial turn there. I don't think we've got enough speed. This time? No. Right, I'm giving up on that, I think. All right. I'll finish this event. I won't do any more reloads. And then we'll move on. The other events as well, I, uh, I think, I, I'm not going to spend a long time on. I think probably maybe I do a bit. I'll spend a bit of time on the surfing because that's kind of kind of cool. I can't I can't turn. Timing is awful on this. I don't care. <laughs> um, Elite Aim, Hi Zypher, it's new style gaming. NSG. Is that right? I thought I would stop by and say hello. I, I was geez. Is this your son? <laughs> That's awesome. New style gaming. Welcome to the stream. Sorry, we'll call you Elite Aim. How you doing, mate? Welcome, welcome. <laughs> That's awesome. That's good to have you here. It's good to have you here. Um. I'm going to make this bloody boy in it. May you should see what it's like in this room. So I've got lights on me as well for, to light me up for the green screen. Oh, it is roasting in here. Absolutely roasting. Um, yeah, 79 viewers. Not bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you have a bit of lag there, guys? Uh, nothing on my software side. Um, probably maybe in YouTube side. Right. What's this bloody thing called? Hacky sack or something? Footbag, footbag. And we're kicking a beanbag in the air. Apparently that's meant to be beach, but it doesn't look very colourful there. So what you do here is try and keep this beanbag in the air for as long as possible. Spin round, do that. Hey, I did a full axle. Oops. A half axle. And let's try and kick it with our foot now. Ah, missed. Go from one knee to the other. Ah, okay. Not the most fun event in the world, this one. Okay. Gotta get the timing right on this one. What? When are you supposed to kick out? Oh, when it's right at the bottom. was an exciting event <laughs> I got two stunts done there there we go move on <laughs> hey it's surfing now we're talking a link version is something I could get over 30,000 points Ugh, show off <laughs> Right, surfing. I'm going to take a snappy here. This is one event I do enjoy playing, or remember if The surfing on the GX4000 World of Sports game is much better as well. That's really, really awesome. Now, you've got to 
exit the way. Well, exit. Enter as you exited. So if we do that, I'll do a turn there. There we go. Hopefully that's not going to wipe me out. That's good. Ah, oh, wipe out. Thank you, Johnny Boy, for the top tip there, mate. I was waiting for those top tips. Oh, I wasn't if looking. You peel a banana from the bottom up, holding on to oh. the stem like a handle. You will avoid Hell, the stringy bits that cling to the fruit inside. The uh, the alert didn't like ping properly before. Hang on, I'll play it again. If you peel a banana from Gor, is that is that Gorka? That is Gorka, isn't it? Let's try that again. There we go. El Gorko with the two fans. It's Gorka in the chat there. Thank you, mate. And he's got some banana facts for us there. If you peel a banana from the bottom up, holding on to the stem like a handle, you will <laughs> avoid the stringy bits that cling to the fruit inside. Bananas in the chat, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you for the banana, more banana facts there, Gorka. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Thank you very, very much. Sorry the alert didn't play properly the first time there. All right, we're good now. We're good. <laughs> Thank you guys for the bananas there in the chat as well. We do a full turn. Oh, wiped out. Monkeys peel them that way, do they? <laughs> Oh, wiped out. Trying to do a 360. Let's try that again. Bugger. Let's try that again. Way! How many points do we get for that? So if you leave the the water up, say like 45 degrees, you've got to make sure you match the angle exactly coming in. It's got to be exactly 45 degrees. Watching the stream, my undies. I think uh, Lucas said he was watching it in these undercrackers as well. <laughs> what delightful images we have now. Okay. did a 360. Shut up. The Retro Macaque. Good evening, sir. How you doing, Monkey Jesus? What? I think I was too late entering the war. Just a brief visit, he says. No worries, my friend. I thought I matched the angle there. Are you doing the retro macaque? How's this sir compared to the surfing event on the Commodore 64 RSG? Wiped out. Oh, I don't get a score? Or, like, did, what? Where's my score? <laughs> Alright, whatever. Whatever. Skating. Go on in a quick skating. You gotta. Oh, it's at disc. Right, okay. Hang on. Shame there's no music in the game at all. It really lacks having music. Oh, the game crashed. 
Oh. Oh, well, we'll just load them up one at a time, doesn't make any difference. Oh, you got to roll the joystick. Oh my god. You got to do like a... Um... I'll show you. This one's going to be fun. You've got to roll the joystick. Oh, God. So it's going to be fun on a D-pad. Fire to squat. Hold down the fire, but then jump, release fire button. And he... Oh, I can point the direction joystick in a diagonal to do a jump. Right. Okay, I got it. She has had too much sun. She's looking very, very red there. Okay. go all right we're rocking now the banana peels I, don't, I, I have no idea if I'm doing any good or not oh I missed a jump there I could have done oh dear came over press button yeah that's okay Hey, Speedy Gamer, how you doing, man? Welcome to the uh, stream. Uh, tonight, uh, actually, for many, many years, um, people know me as using keyboard constantly, actually. Uh, but I've actually swapped, switched to a, a joypad. Uh, it's the 8 bit do SN30 Pro Plus pad. It's a bit of a pig to get working and configured right. But um, yeah, that's what I'm using tonight. Welcome to the stream. Welcome. Oh, no, Mrs. Zypho, you've not been printing photos out of me. Oh, God. Right, what, which one am I on done? BMX. Right, BMX. Oh, God. Right, uh, move the joystick right repeatedly to increase your speed. Uh, press 5 button to jump. Move joystick left to do a wheelie. Uh, okay, let's just go. Yeah, I was tapping right. Hang on, let's, pr let's play one event. We'll give that one more go. 
So it's fire to jump. I've got to jump over that, haven't I? Left to do a wheelie. Fire to jump. So we're going to jump, push left as you come onto rim for hill. Move the air. You can do stunts in the air. So what do you need to do a wheelie for? I don't know. Let's go. Raspergu, good evening, sir. I think I missed saying hello to you earlier. I do apologise, Raspergu. How you doing, man? doing all right there hello <laughs> hello my lord i'm not your lord welcome respecter yes everything's all right i've had a i've had a week from hell i won't go on about it but uh thank you man i'm really happy to be streaming tonight to be with you guys oh you off osg i'm proper wiped out and we've not been well oh yes i forgot about that mate uh i hope, hope you're doing okay dude uh i'll come back on if i wake up and feel better as you on most night, <laughs> catches later. You take care, OSG. I hope you have a good weekend, and I hope you feel better soon, mate. Take care, dude. Right, last last event. Press five when you start the event. You get three attempts. Throw this fire. In, uh... Use the bar on the bottom screen to make your throw. Bar's three colours: red, yellow, green. No, it doesn't. It's black, pink, and green. Right. Uh, tap joystick left to swing your arm back. When the needle reaches. Uh, the green section of the bar. Tap stick right when it is green. I'm going to tap the left again to release the disc. First of all, helps you catch the catch of the disc. Right. Oh, you got to, the other person's got to catch the disc. You control them. Got it. Right. Can we start? Right. Here we go. Now we've got a lot of speed but a low angle. So we've got a um, mini map at the top of the screen there. Hey Jace, good evening Jace. I think it's starting to come down, so that was about. Really hard to judge. I did a thing in a game. I, I <laughs> oh my god! When I've played this before, I I, I went. Oh, I remember doing the long play of this. I went for like bloody an hour without ever actually catching the bloody thing. And the first time tonight, without trying it, <laughs> I did it. All right, you get another go. All right. Oh, I need to be a lot uh, not nearer it. I think it's starting to descend a bit. Now I need to be back a bit. Ah! I think this is the event for me. Thank you, Brian. That was pure gold. Thank you for the chi cheese there, guys. Oh, you get one more go then, right. Uh-oh. I scuffed the speed there. Well, this is exciting stuff on the Am stream tonight, ladies and gentlemen. As we're sat watching a crappy drawn picture of two people throwing a plate at each other. Some bad axe parallax scrolling. Oh yes. 
Well spotted there, actually. Yeah, uh, light fun. No! Ah! Oh! <laughs> Wrecked. The real Odi. Welcome, my friend. How you doing? It says, oh, don't feed the bears. No. How you doing, Odi? <laughs> There you go. Right. That's it for uh, California games. I think we're I think we're done with California games. Never mind. But the first one there. Oof. And we got the second one as well. That was California games, and that's your lot really in the game. Uh, yeah, it's all right. It's okay. Um, not my favourite thing. I so wanted to like this as a kid, but I found the ludicrous controls accuracy infuriating. Yes, especially on the half pipe and the uh, foot bag thing that's going on. Yes, totally agree, Craig. Although I never owned this as a kid, I did really want to like this though. I really did. Too hot in Hamburg. How hot is it there? I think we reached over 30 degrees in the UK today. One of our hottest, hottest ever days, I think. Right, what should we do next, guys? Um, I'll let the chat choose. Um, first good suggestion that lets me go, ooh, I'll, I will go with. What would you like to see from US Gold next, ladies and gentlemen? Uh, Jace, I think the Commodore 64 version, I'm told, I don't think I've played much of it, I'm told is really, really awesome and the best version. Tranta sounds good. Bruce Lee, might do Bruce Lee later in the stream. We have done a lot of Bruce Lee on the Am streams over the over the ta over time, but I kind of fancy playing a bit of Bruce Lee. But maybe like chilling out towards the end, I think might do Bruce Lee. Vigilante. Is that yeah? I'm sure that was US Gold, wasn't it? Oh, oh, oh where's my document of games? Yeah, that is. Yep. Yeah. Mmm, tempted actually. Oh, <clears throat> Main Hay says I'd give this 3.5. Is that out of 10? Uh, Beachhead 2, Gunsmoke, Moonwalker. Yeah, we'll mind doing some Moonwalker actually. Uh, especially if Malk's here. Uh, Beachhead 2 is. Really terrible in the Amstrad, sadly. But we might check it out. Alien Storm, UN Squadron. Ooh! Yeah, sure, UN Squadron was US Gold, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. <clears throat> oh no, he said, Mark says no, boo hiss. Yeah, let's do UN Squadron. Yeah, let's have a shoot em up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Temple of Doom. We'll, we'll definitely do some Indiana Jones tonight. Uh oh, we've got a cracked version of the game. One sec, guys. Just opening another door here. Oh, it's hot. Uh, California games, guys. Out of ten, I think I'll give it a six and a half. But if you add it on cassette, not half a point off. You just got Moonwalker so biggest dis disappointment as a kid. It's that first level, Mal. That first level, just wandering around for bloody ages. Boring. Some of the later levels are actually quite good. And it has quite good music as well. Mm. Hey, Wee Bob! Hello, Wee Bob! How are you? Welcome, welcome. Um, so, Jace gives California Games 4, Mike 4, Johnny a 5, Board 6, Simi gives it a 0. Oh, that's a bit harsh. 
Lucas a 5, Tazong a 5, and Robin Hood a 4. So I've been the most generous, I think. Good lord. How you doing, Wee Bob? Nice presentation here. We've got a bit of effort. Only fate will determine if we live or die. <laughs> okay, I'm not I'm not gonna comment on that. Taking on this mission is like shaking hands with the devil. Daredevils. And winners don't use drugs. Tell that to Lance Armstrong. Let's let's actually redefine. Uh, actually, let's redefine keys. Maybe we can. Okay, I thought there's like a second button for a special attack. Yeah. Oh, poop. You have to have two joysticks for two players. The five credits. There we go. One player start. All oh, my favourite players, the F14 Tomcat. So we're we're game with the F14. Yeah, I think you can have two players co-op on this. Yeah. Target is the multi rocket launchers, the most vulnerable target is the radar installation. Right. How much have we got? 3,000. Oh, pups. Yeah, we'll have that. Nice and colourful, got music in game. Hang on, how do we activate our special weapon? Oh, double tap the fire button. Right, okay. Just. Ooh, I'm not sure if this is tear text actually, Mark. It's like it's too good for tear text. <laughs> uh, Maybe says this was a favourite back in the day. A little slow, but that's the only negative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Just us, this always reminded me of Ring Raiders. Uh, I don't know what Ring Raiders is. Knowing it's knowing you, Beardo, um, it's probably a cartoon. <laughs> I long forgotten about cartoons. Um, uh, Brian says, I'm playing the sequel, which had a blatant Sean Connery looking bloke handing out the pre flight chats. I can't remember what it was called. Uh, Mame Hayes might remember. He, he, he's the man of the knowledge. <laughs> um, Hello, we have the Retro Man Cave here tonight. Good evening, Neil. How are you doing, buddy? Welcome. Oh my god, I, I need an AMS plane, don't I, for games like this? Hmm. I'm on it. For next time, we'll have an AMS plane. <laughs> and the Alpha Set Paneer. Good evening, sir. Happy Zai Cave. <laughs> oh, bless you, man. Thank you, man. Welcome, Malphaset. How are you doing? Hmm, strange. The Amiga version is tear text and socks. Let's have a look. See if we can work out if this is tear text or not. Hang on, I'll get a browser capture. So, so near all you missed tonight is California games, so not much. <laughs> Doug Anderson, I know that name. Oh yes, because he did uh, Alien Storm as well. I think he technically worked at Teartex. There's no mention of Teartex on the box or um, disc, or I don't think I saw it on the menu screen. Could this be the one so uh, single tier text game that's any good? Unless it's in the manual. Don't know, it might be tier text. But he may be the one guy at tier text that was any good at making games. Who knows? Oh well. How are you, Neil? Anyway, what, what are you up to at the moment? Anything exciting coming to the channel? That FP, uh, FPGA desktop machine I saw you painted pictures of. Looks bloody gorgeous, mate. I'm well gelled. I've got a bit of parallax scrolling on the uh, on the go as well, guys. this, isn't it, guys? It's a nice attempt. Right, 
at the end of this level, I'll probably catch up on the chat. Here comes the big boy. Yeah, this is the boss. Oh, he drops mines. Air mines, sorry. Right. Which you can't destroy. Is, do we get our energy res, uh, restored at the start of the level or not? Do we need to buy that energy upgrade or not? I, can't, I don't know. Anyway, the target is the forest fortress equipped with many large gun batteries and even surrounding woods are full of weapons. Let me just take a snappy there. You're in squadron level three. There you go. Let's catch up on the chat there. Sorry guys, I had to concentrate there. As screenshots will be impressed if not the frames per second. Agreed, uh, Retro Man Cave. Oh, we're just above you there, Brummy Gamer. Oi, oi, Savaloy. Right, mate. How you doing, Brummy? Good to see you again, buddy. How's things, dude? And how's the uh, baby doing? Oh, I bet you're having fun this evening, the heat as well. I know, we've had fun with ours. <laughs> oh, is there uh, some say goodnight to Pete Pork, yeah? Uh, oh, Pete, sorry I missed you there, mate. It's right, boys, you have to do a timeout, need to sleep, got stuff for tomorrow. You already know what you need to do, enjoy the month. So, oh, excuse me. How rude. Uh, Pete, take care, buddy. Thank you again for the £50 dono earlier, mate. That was, that's just like, wow. Thank you, mate. Thank you very, very much. You take care. 
Have a good night and have a great weekend, man. You take care. Um, mm. So, what's the chat saying there? Let's have a quick scroll. It is a bit slow, this. Yes, yes. My week has been sheer a tea on the end. Gordon, same. I've had a week from hell. Anyway, I keep going on about it, but I'll shut up. But I, I, I'll be you, man. Hope you, hopefully you're all right, mate. Hopefully it's all good now, though. And yes, Anna, you've not been feeling very well either. Have you? Uh, are you feeling a bit better now, Anna? Uh, Rainer, this is UN Squadron. UN Squadron. Uh, Tinnitus UK, welcome to the stream. Just popped in to say hello and thank you are all still live on a Friday night. Pleased to see you are. Cool, man. Stick with us. Come join in. Join in. If you can't stick, if you can't stick around, it's fine, man. But nice of you to pop in and say hello. Uh, how's you? Yeah, not too bad. He's teething now, so yeah, he's constantly crying. Oh, the teething stage. Yeah, good luck with that, Brummy. <laughs> good luck. Um, again, hey mate, you know where I am if you just get in touch with me. If you need any uh, fatherly advice, tips, help, whatever, you just drop me a DM or whatever. <laughs> and are you going to be checking out Anaria Battle Royale, the H1Z1 ripoff? It's supposed to be coming out any day soon. A bit of Amsbury helps after all. Indeed, indeed. Right. Oh, we might look at some Forgotten Worlds in a bit as well, yes. Right, um, what have I got? 42,000. Yeah, we'll buy that, and we'll buy that. Is h one still going? Yes, yes it is. I haven't played it in bloody weeks or months. But yeah, 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 it's still going. There's a rip-off game coming out very, very soon, actually, which I'll be checking out on stream, called Anaria. And I lost half the energy there. Bloody hell, I'm an idiot. Oh, that's a super weapon. Oh, I'm doing rubbish on this level. I have a soft spot for a view to a kill on the Amstrad. I played that for hours as a kid, the, well, the mines level specifically, anyway. I think probably 
the P47 Thunderbolt's a better game than the new end squadron on the Amstrad anyway. If this just had a bit more speed about it, it would have been great. The sprite movement's actually pretty smooth. Scrolling, not so much. Oh, there we go. The stage done. To be fair, Zyper played the best ever Bond game about a month ago, Sly Spy. That is true, though. Yeah. I do love Sly Spy. I do think License to Kill is a really, really good Bond game on the Amstrad as well. Uh, but it's just too short and easy. And also, um, what the bloody hell's... Live and Let Die. Live and Let Die is really, really good. Although it's all in the speedboat for the entirety of the game. And it wasn't um, it was supposed to be a, originally in a, a Bond game, but it, it became one. There we go. And people thought Silkworm has slowed down. Good grief, yes. I think this is probably the slowest out, out of those three. Silkworm, P47, UN Squadron. This is probably the slowest, yeah. Right. What have we got? 35,000. Oh. So we can get that. And... We'll have that. And the energy restore. Those pyramids are on a mountains. I think they're mountains. Oh, one second. Let me just pause that. I think I've mucked up my chat window. Ah! None of your beers. Good evening. Welcome, 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 welcome. How are you doing, sir? I don't think they do. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know where you've heard that. Die, I won't continue, we'll just move on to another game. I think we've seen, probably seen enough UN Squadron. I just wanted to see how far I can get on one credit, I think. It's alright, it's not bad for a blast, this. It's not the greatest thing in the world, though. I, mean, I have to give you a scold, like, you know, props were nice presentation, I've really made an effort here. It looks nice, we've got in-game music.
got to bomb all these compartments. Okay. squadron there i think i'm gonna leave it there um i might just show you the start of the first, next level but let's have some scores on the doors for uh un squadron what would you give uh un squadron guys out of ten i think robin's already given a score there's six and a half if it was a bit faster smoother it would be a nine actually i think the game i think the game has actually crashed unless it's looking for disc two un squadron disc two of two see that's what happens when you play cracked versions of games well it was interesting i said i was going to end there because the game has crash loading there we go seven out of ten for good intentions <laughs> this is um oh dear never mind I was going to finish there on that game anyway. Uh, so Mug gives it a 7 to Mike. Uh, and A is Gordon. A 3. Not impressed. He's Gordon. Oh dear. Uh, Batman gives it a 7. US called the LJN of the Amstrad. Ooh. Or the, could that be Domark? Kev. Mm. Domark had a few good games though. Mm. Uh, 7 out of 10 says Andrew a 9 if he didn't lag so much. Johnny a 7. Craig a 6. Tazong a 7 for good intentions. Mrs. Zypho is six and a half. Simia six. German is seven. Jace is graphics eight, but gameplay four. May Mace is seven and a half. He didn't think it was aged well though. Hmm. Alex gives it a five. Anna gives it seven out of ten and two out of ten are scandals. <laughs> a mix of scores there. Uh Gordon Music 8 gameplay three. Uh the non-crack disc version of this has a mastering bug too. The last level won't load. That's interesting because I did a long play of this game, so I have completed it. I don't remember that problem, but it was many, 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 many years ago. Right. Uh, a retro man cave would give it an Amiga out of ten. <laughs> I uh, I'm not sure how to take that. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? It's going to be a good thing, isn't it? <laughs> Aaron, you rope a bit on yet? No, we're only on game two. <laughs> uh, we'll probably skirt through, uh, skip through the other games fairly quickly um, as we move on through the stream. You and Squadron is good and says Novabug. Good evening, Novabug. How you doing, Chris? Are you uh, streaming tomorrow evening? Um, the book stream. Please let the chat know. Um, but yeah, seven and a half. I might give you an eight out of ten. At the just getting an eight out of ten. They're just germ insane, yeah. Both US God and Dark have had good games, but they're just not many of them. Yeah, that's right. Mm. What are arse candles? Anna, please explain to Gordon what our arse candles are. 
All right, guys, um, requests in the chat for the next game to play tonight. I'm just going to nip to my fridge and get a cold drink. I'll literally be uh, like 20 seconds. All right, guys, but I'll come back and see what you've suggested in the chat in just a tick. Get in a cold drink. That's gorgeous. Pineapple and grapefruit crush from Sainsbury's. Really nice. Very rare they have them in stock where I live. Anyway. Um, of course, the episode 100 on, on Halloween. Uh, excellent, no bug. And yes, he's streaming tomorrow night, of course. I just have to check, of course. Sometimes you have a night off. Rarely, but okay. So you've got Nova Bug tomorrow night, guys. And then we've got Yellow Belly with Pete Walker on Sunday as well. The whole AMS weekend ahead. Uh, Mike CT wants Super Monaco Grand Prix. Mm. Yes, remind me of that. We'll do that in a little bit, I think. Oh! Judge West! sugars there thank you man just hey man what's up what's up with you judge west can we see some bananas in the charts for judge west let's see the bananas rain thank you very 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 much judge west that is super kind of you i'm okay man i am okay i'll say this one more time i said it a few times i have had the week from bloody hell this week uh uh, no, I won't go into it. But thank you, man. But you guys have cheered me up. But that's just a nice extra top cherry on the top. Thank you. Thank you very, very much, Judge West. You've been super kind. Um, thank you guys for the bananas there. <laughs> uh, right, so you've Forgotten Worlds. That's a good request. Trantor, the Goonies, Shadow Dancer. A few people going Shadow Dancer. That would be a good one, actually. Sounds like a lilt ripoff. It basically is, but I think it tastes nicer. A uh, lilt kind of has this artificial aftertaste to it. That doesn't. That just stays nice and fruity in your mouth. The uh, tropical crush from uh, sorry, pineapple and grapefruit crush from Sainsbury's. Yummy. Uh. We like you, Zypher, so that's something. Indeed. I oh, know, I'm here for the community. And you guys have really cheered me up. Okay, a couple of a few people suggested Shadow Dancer. Happy to do that one. Oh, mine's not loaded. Hang on. Oh, there we go. So it's a little rip-off. Yes, basically. <laughs> but it's a nicer one. Uh-oh. Cratro. And here we go. You get them too, Simmy. I have to grab them quick. They're always out of stock in my Sainsbury's. Everyone's getting them. Oh! We've got music. And it's loud. Oh, I've been on the Vimto as well, Gordon. Sadly, not a cheeky one. It's an arcade port. Uh, Brian? Was 
like dandelion and bird cock. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Let's define the keys. I won't let me. Right, we'll just be joystick then. Jeremy says, I enjoyed this game. First played the arcade in the South of France in 1990. Amsterdam version was surprisingly good. Let's find out! Because that music isn't great. And there's no music in game. Because you've now got a doggy you can send after bad guys. No, no, no. Fire him down to send him to attack him. But he's not attacking that guy. Go, go, God. Go, dog. No, 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 no. I know he's shooting a gun. Well, let's go up here then. I think we're defusing bombs on this. Oh, there's one. So the dog's not working. <laughs> dog error reboot. <laughs> Internal dog error 500. <laughs> if you stay docked, go on. Fire him down. Get him. Get him. It's not working. It normally does. I swear to God, guys. He's supposed to be like firing down. Look, there goes the dog. Yeah, he's got him. Good doggy. Good. Do oh, no, 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 no. That's it. Good doggy. Good doggy. No! Oh god, I missed the bullet there. <laughs> Typho is quoting server error codes. I'll have nightmares now. <laughs> is it error 403 forbidden from now on, Malk? <laughs> Vimtome is really good with Ikari Warriors. Is that like a childhood memory? Playing Ikari Warriors whilst drinking Vimto. Son of a bitch! Oh, it didn't kill me. Okay. That did. <laughs> Wrecked! Oh, Frio, why are you into Oblivion? That's a permanent redirect, Malk, isn't it? Dog walking simulator. Oh god. I'm sure there's a a dogging joke that will appear if we walk by a car at some point. Get him! Good doggy! Trying to jump. Oh man, I jumped right into a knife. It's a shame you can't sort of force scroll the screen by pushing up and down. You can see what's below you. We could just do that. There you go. It's actually easier than sending a dog out. Oh, go get get him dog. No, dog! Go! Attack! Oh you silly dog. Oh god, this is harder than I thought it was. Right. Well uh, not continuing ways to continue there. Oh it's Nova Bug off. Okay. Time of the misses required. <laughs> Take care, Novabug, and hopefully we'll see you all tomorrow night on the Novabug stream as well. The 
The dog needed some obedience classes for Barbara Woodhouse. <laughs> oh, where do they come from? Dog, you're too slow. I needed your help then. To be fair, it, it would be quite hard programming the uh, dog on the Amstrad. Jump down again. Go, dog! Go, go, go! Get him! Yay! He finally did it! I nearly missed that bullet then. It's kind of hard to see those bullets sometimes against the background. Get him, dog! Get him! Get him! No! Get no! Get the man! Get the man! There you go! Bite him! Bite! 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 No! That was a mistake! <laughs> you will moss Nova Bug. Muss Nova Bug. You mean mess. Mess! <laughs> Which one, Gordon? You're going to miss Nova Bug. We'll miss him too. Do all US cold games lag? <laughs> uh, apparently so. Apparently so. Okay, we need to get. Oh my god, I'm gonna die here. Yep. Yeah. You need to be so much more cautious in this game. It, it, it's like the arcade, actually. Um, the way I've got through levels in the arcade version is just being overly super cautious uh, and taking things little bit by little bit in the game. And not rushing through it. It gets stupidly hard. Really. Decept is deceptively hard. It look. It's de it, it, Sorry. I'll start again. It looks deceptively easy, and it really isn't. Go, dog. Go, go, dog. Bad dog. Bad dog. <laughs> oh, I'll just do it myself then. Right, let's try this again. Get him. Yes! He's actually got him this time. Now, we've got all the bombs on the level already, so we just need to get to the exit, which is here. Hey! We finally did a level. Woohoo! Oh, Christian. Good night, Christian. Thank you for tuning in and being part of the Amstream tonight. Uh, you take care. Have a great weekend, sir. Let me just catch up with the chat there. Uh, uh, Brian says, okay, so the dog mechanic is less than perfect, but you can see how it stacks up very well in looks to the arcade original. Agreed, yes. Agreed. I can't expect the AI to be brilliant on the dog here. I'm surprised they even put the dog in the game. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. Did anyone here have the limited edition of Shadow Dance on the Amstrad? Came with a free copy of Alien Storm. I think so. I think I've got a spare copy of it, actually. Actually, it's all. Um, mine's all wrapped up in bubble wrap at the moment. Um, I, I don't think this is the one that comes with it. I've got another copy of it. I think it puts a sticker on the front, if it is. Um, oh, it's right at the bottom of the shelf. I'm not going to get it, but I think I do. I think I do have that one. I think the dog just wants a snack. Yes, we need to pet him and give him a little treat when he does something good. All right, we've got a frisbee throwing dude. Oh God! Yeah. So 
if you bump into them, you don't always immediately die, which is interesting. Go, dog. Go. Good doggy. Oh, oh, oh. Bad guys. Get that guy. Go on, get him. See, that's where the dog mechanic works really, really well. It's actually quite nice animation on the sprites, actually. They just look a bit blocky. Actually, we'll send the dog up. Good doggy. Oh yeah, you do have magic in the game. Where's the dog gone? <gasps> that was lucky. Oh, there we go. Alien Storm is quite underrated. Yeah, it's okay. I just don't think the arcade game was that good in the first place. Um with Alien Storm. But they the Amstrad did a decent version of it. Oh! Oh, damn it. Boss battle. Let's have the boss battle then. You got magic you can use. There you go. Dead. <laughs> Should have used a snapshot. Oh well, doesn't matter. We've got quite a few continues, I think. But yeah, we'll do a couple more levels, and then we'll move on. I think. When you use the magic in the arcade, there was a really cool animation beforehand. Oh yes, I think I remember it. No. Oh, that's the bonus level. Didn't get a bonus life. Damn it. Hey, no worries, Darren. <laughs> you must be exhausted today, mate. I saw in Discord, so uh, you take whatever time you need to have a nap, mate. Go, doggy. Oh, that did need the dog. Hey. Oh, we've got sneaky ninja types now. Okay. Right, not up there. I think we fight a train as the boss at the end of these uh, two levels. Oh, there's a guy on the floor. I, didn't, I can hardly see him. The graphics are really colourful, but they are quite blocky. Damn! I tried to turn around then. Yes, it, the game really needs music in it. Bit of atmosphere. There's only like two sound effects. Oh no! Right, I tried to jump. Is Obli here? Hello, Obli. How you doing, buddy? <laughs> How's your grind going in Apex at the moment? I think I've managed to claw myself back to gold one. <laughs> Hopefully we'll get some games this uh, weekend, sir. Right. The only problem is I start rushing it to get back to where I was and making mistakes, so take my time probably son of a bitch well there you go there's a bit of shadow dance I think we need a bit of variety so we'll move on from that what would you like to see next guys request in the chat again and I'll just choose the one that sort of stands out to me the best I think or most people want
Oh, that's delicious. Hey, Mikey Smith live. Good evening, Mikey. How you doing, man? And guys as well, what would you like? What would you uh, want to score this game out of 10 as well? Scores on the door, sir. So Shadow Dancer. Citizen Platinum waiting for you. Ooh, taunting me from Platinum. Naughty boy, Oakley. Hey, Mikey Smith again. Hello, Mikey. And hello to Jane, if you're watching with. How you doing, guys? Dambusters. Indiana Jones. Last Crusade. Ooh. Ninja, that was a Mastertronic, uh, Colin. We're doing US Gold tonight. Welcome, though, Colin. Welcome to the stream. You hate that word. What's that uh, smoothie? What word was that? Uh, 8 out of 10, 6, 7, 3, and 7, 7. Yeah, I think I'll give this a solid 8, actually. Um, I'm not sure Satan was US Gold, Respergio. I'll have a check. Uh, I'm just looking on the CPC Power website. It's from, I know it's a dynamic software game, but did US Gold release it in the UK? That is the question. Right, Satan. Let's have a look. Normally, Ocean helped out with dynamic games getting out here. No, it's a dynamic game. So, unfortunately, Respergu, I can't do um, Satan tonight. The word was delicious. Why don't you like the word delicious? You do know that's going to trigger me into saying every time you come on stream, Malk, I'm going, I'm going to be going, it's, it's, the, it's the delicious smoothie, Malk. <laughs> Just to wind you up. Robocop's Ocean, uh, Colin. We're doing that US Gold Games tonight. There's a full list in my Discord. Um, if you want to see the full list of games, exclamation mark Discord to join. If you, if you do have Discord on your computer um, or phone. How you doing, Mikey? Are you streaming on Sunday after Yellow Belly, matey? A lot of different software houses publish dynamic games. Yeah, but looking at the box art, um, they kept the dynamic brand branding even on the UK release. Yeah, it's got the UK stuff there. Dynamic, dynamic. Might have been distributed by US Gold, but we're not counting that. <gasps> Super Cycle. Oh, that game's awesome. Tell you what, I think I might do Super Cycle than Indiana Jones. Ghouls and Ghosts is a defo, defo one tonight. Defo. Shall we do Super Cycle? Seeing as Mikey's arrived and uh, he, he, like, he, he likes the AMS bike. <laughs> All right, we're going to do Super Cycle. I really, really love this game. Oh, good. I've got the original disc, not a cracked version as well. So, if you want, guys, I'll get myself on the AMS bike for this one. That game is just called Sainted. That's correct, Anna. Yes, that is correct. Microwave Jane. <laughs> Mrs. Mikey Smith as well. How are you doing, Jane? Welcome, welcome. How's things? <laughs> awesome, Mikey is streaming on Sunday. So you got no me tonight, no bug tomorrow night, Yellow Belly of Pete Walker on Sunday, and then Mikey Smith af afterwards. A whole AMS weekend of AMS fun of Am from AMS streamers. <laughs> One sec, guys. I can't reply quick enough, it's way too fast for me. See how I feel trying to keep on top of everyone's messages and chat and feeling bad when I miss someone's hilarious comment. <laughs> well, I enjoy. I did enjoy Shadow Dancer. I think I like it more than some of you here. <laughs> right. And Tom's fun. Good evening, dude. In a hardcore app game while well, listening to this. What's the crick? <laughs> well, US Gold Games tonight, Tom's from. Taking some requests. Right, let's start this off. 
select level. Hang on, why is my joystick not working here? Uh, oh, it's number on, numbers on the keyboard. I don't know, we'll start with level one, maybe. Right, track one. Right. I think, guys, should we get the AMS bike out? Right. Let's get let's get it out of the garage. Bear with me a sec. Where is it? Thing. <laughs> There we go, we're on the AMS bike. <laughs> Yay! Right, off we go. Oh, I think I changed... I changed gear too quickly. Right, okay, I've got this. Oh, look at the speed of this thing. animation there the crash ouch you like the ams bike do you Johnny oh I didn't change gear oops actually how do I know what gear I am I'm in Accelerator. Nice screechy noise, I like that. It's not too annoying. And the bike noise is alright. Oh! Lewis Watto! Oh my god! Ten pounds, dude! What the frick? Let's give him loads of dancing sugars. It says, gold, gold, always believe in your soul. You've got the power. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to sing anymore. I always believe in because you are gold, gold. Evening, CPC lovers. Sorry I'm late to the party. Lewis, thank you very, very, very much, uh, Lewis. Uh, guys, bananas in the chat from Mr. Lewis Waddington there. Excuse me. Thank you, Lewis. Wow. Thank you very much. Thank you for the little song there <laughs> as well. I know, terrible singing. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Well, you, you do a dono like that, you have you force me to sing. <laughs> Thank you, mate. Thank you very, very, very much there. Cheers, mate. Thank you. How are you doing, Lewis? That is extremely generous of you, man. Thank you for your support and your kindness. Zypho bringing the thunderstorms of his singing voice. Hey, is it starting to thunder out there? I can't hear out. I think they're due on Monday, Malk. I hope everyone is well. <laughs> I hope you're well too, Lewis. Thank you very, very much. That's extremely kind of you there. Thank you, man. I want to get back to the game. How's things in arcade club land, dude? Oh, finish the lap. Finish the race. Right. Right, off we go. Uh, time may have been crazy busy. Loads of cabs to keep on top of. I bet, mate. I bet. But with all this time in lockdown, I'm sure you've got lots of like excellent work done. Alright, off we go. This game is bloody great. I just wish they used fire button for accelerate instead of up. And then you could have up to check to move up a gear, down to move down a gear. Instead you have to do fire and up all the time or fire and Oh! Holy crap! 
Oh, wow! Richard Jimenez with the 464. Did you play Captain America? America, can you sing Who's Crying Now? That came to the game. If you play Captain America, can you sing Who's Crying Now? That came with the game. What? Really? Hang on. Let me, let's give you some dancing sugars there. The 464, the magical 464 from Richard. There was, what? There was a, like a cassette single with the game. I never knew that. Are you sure? Captain America. I'm going to look at it on uh, CPC Power. Unless I've like missed a joke somewhere. There's Amazing Spider-Man as well on Captain America. Oh, there was an audio tape that came with it. Right. Uh, can we have some bananas in the chat there, of course, for Richard there? Sorry, I nearly forgot that. Let's see the bananas come in. Thank you, Richard. I never knew that. I will check it out now. Hang on. Let's get a browser capture going. So, Captain America defies the Doom Tube. In the, sorry, in the Doom Tube of Dr. Megaloman. Oh, yeah. Look, on the cassette version, you got um, a single by the, or music or something. I never knew that, and I've never heard it before. Maybe we'll play it later in the stream, dude. Audio tape. There's an MP3 of it. Bonus track by Resistor. Wow, I never knew that. Well, there you go. Right, we'll check that out later on, dude. Uh, but thank you guys. Thank you for the bananas there, and thank you, Richard. Right, we'll pause the music there. I don't think we need the music this game. The, the, the volume's too loud. Get out of my way! This is... Oh! Oh! <laughs> Lewis again! Oh my god! Let's give you some dancing sugars. This Amstream karaoke night. Oh god! No, no, guys, you'll just you'll just be me singing unless I could work out get everyone in Discord or Zoom or something like that, and. Oh no, that'll be the most copyright strike stream ever. We get shut down within 10 minutes probably. Maybe we could get away with it on Twitch. Oh, there's that Twitch Sings thing. But you can do karaoke. Lewis, you've given me an idea, but you've got to come on Twitch. Uh, <laughs> we could do a karaoke night on there. That, that is possible. That is actually possible with Twitch Sings. <laughs> Bananas in the chat one more time for Lewis there. Thank you, Lewis. <laughs> But it could be done. But I think on Twitch Street Sings, it's only the streamer that can do it. Hmm. I'd have to look into that. But I really don't want to be singing. <laughs> I really can't sing. You'll sing gold, will you? Oh, God. Do you know what would be awesome? The way we could get around it. We could... If there was, like, Amstrad versions of famous tunes, right, you could sing to that. And I wouldn't get the copyright strike then or match. Well, I might not. I might not. Imagine that. We could get everyone. You could, uh, Each of us could have a go singing along to some eight -bit, Amstrad 8-bit rendition of Gold or something like that. We could, that would be amazing. That would be a great Ams, Ams chat segment to do. But I don't know there's many covers of many famous tunes out there. That's got my mind whirring now. What do you reckon, guys? We'd have to find a few songs. I know Marcus has covered a few tunes before and done Amstrad renditions, but... Hmm...
<laughs> no, I could not, Rob. Careful, or I'm going to ban you. <laughs> Lucas knows all the words to go by Moby. <laughs> well done, mate. Well done. Like how Bombjack has hard aim tonight in the back. And Lady Madonna as well, isn't it? I thought it was Lady Madonna they, they, they ripped off in Bomb Jack. Or did they have Hard Day's Night as well? Hard Day's Night's in um, the, the game called Mikey. Mikey has Hard Day's Night. There we go. Pretty easy so far. God, I've drank so much fizzy pop now. I'm not going to sleep well tonight. Yeah, they went Beatles mad. <laughs> All right. Uh, no one vibing off on that um, karaoke idea then. Oh, well. Oh, well. <laughs> Technic, did I say hello to you earlier? I can't remember. If not, hello, Technic. How are you doing? Oh, we're going to hit flags of points here. What? I was... I hit that. God, it's really hard hitting these flags. Bloody hell. Oh, got it now! No! Wrecked! Oh, German! Good night, moshing out of the stream. You take care, buddy, and have a great weekend. I thought I'd bounce off that guy there. Oh, just made it. 18 seconds ago there. Oh, hey, Mr. Bedford. Good to see you again, buddy. How are you? Welcome, my friend. Welcome. <laughs> oh, we're at the seaside. Oh, no. Perhaps that, like something like San Francisco or something? I don't know. One lane ahead. So, oh, a lane's closed. Which one will it be? Oh, I love Super Cycle. I think this is bloody brilliant. Oh! The cone took me out. God damn it. Come on! That's a load of bull crap. out of my way. Hmm, 
and going down a gear and up a gear is perhaps not the best thing to do. Oil slipped me over there. Damn. Brian reckons the only gripe is it's missing. Ah, that 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 should not happen. That should not happen. Uh, Brian reckons the only, uh, what his only gripe is it's missing dips and hills. Yeah. I, yeah, that would have made a an extra thing. To be fair, the original game didn't have that. Oh, 10 seconds. Can I do it? I think we're miles off. Yeah. Wrecked. <laughs> Oh, sorry, time's up. Oh, there we go. I have done a full long play of this game on me channel, so go and check that out, ladies and gentlemen. Um, But I, I think this is ace. It's just really good fun to play. It's got a really good sense of speed. Graphics are really colourful and nice and well-defined, if not spectacular. They're just simple, but really, really well done. Uh, this is a conversion, I think, of the Commodore 64 game from Epix. And I think it's better than the C64 one, personally. Um, and OSG would 100% disagree with me. <laughs> but he's uh, gone to bed. Um, I really like this. I really, really like this. Shame there's not any like music in game, but the game sounds are alright. Uh, controls are decent. Um... If, and the physics seem good as well, like, you know, going around bends and a bit of gravity pulling, not gravity, but you know what I mean, the force. So, yeah, if I was giving this score, like, a, out of 100, I'd probably give it 89%. It's just short of being an absolute classic in, like, the 90% range. So, at 8.5 from me, what score would you give this, guys? So we got a more, uh, seven from Maud. Oh, Micro Jane, Janie, good night. I'm um, hitting the head. Great streams, I. Oh, bless you. Take care, Jane. <laughs> have a good night's sleep and have a wonderful weekend. <coughs> Take care, Jane. Um, Life Fun gives it eight out of ten. Robin Hood gives it an eight. Anna gives it eight out of ten or two out of ten. Ask candles. <laughs> Maud gives it a 7. Batman give, uh, gives it a 7. And yes, it released in 1986. This is from DJL. They also made 3D Stunt Rider for Amsoft. Uh, the first Nigel Mansell game. They also did Road Blasters on the Amstrad. And they did the Monty on the Run conversion as well. So, good team, DJL. I think it was like a father and son team. Or, or was it two brothers? I'm not sure. Uh, Jace gives it a 7 Jimmy a 7 Johnny an 8.5 Technic gives it an 8 Texie a 7 Te uh, Yep Magic Knight an 8 Darren Coroner a 6.44 Wow I've given it the highest score so far I think Oh no Johnny, but Johnny Boy has as well I think you need to play it And then you'll enjoy it And then you'll see I think Anyway Right let's get out the Ams bike and where's my uh, webcam gone? <laughs> oh, there it is. All right. So that was Super Cycle. All right, guys. It's time for some whip cracking action as we get Indiana Jones up. I promise to do this next. Lewis gives it 20. <laughs> going to pause my music there. So I'm sure we're going to have an excellent rendition of the Indiana Jones theme there. Nice Lucasfilm game. Lucasfilm Games logo. An okay loading screen. There we go. Right, while you enjoying the music, I'm just getting another can from the fridge, guys. Be right back in like 30 seconds.
I'm back. Uh, enjoying the music. Forgotten Worlds is a US gold game. Yes, it is. Yeah. Junior. <laughs> Don't call me Junior. Richard Vivash, good evening, sir. Welcome, welcome back. How you doing, man? And Retro and Lim, he's on a night shift tonight, so he's going to be popping in and out at points on his breaks. He told me on Twitter earlier. How you doing, Steve? Welcome, mate, as well. Right, we've got a new can. We've got a Busy Vimto Remix on the go. Watermelon, strawberry and peach. Mmm, yummy. Joystick, of course. All right, let's crack on then. Cross of Coronado. Work is hellish. Oh no, sorry to hear that retro on limb. And it's a specky port. Oh dear. I haven't got the whip at the moment. Uh, I remember I remember getting been so excited uh, with this uh, getting this game and coming home with it, and I f and, and then I find they did a quick specy port, and it's I think it's slower than the specy version as well. Actually, I don't know. I sure we did. I sure we did a sp when I did a specy stream. We checked this out, and it was about the same speed as the Amstrad one. To be fair. But I think you had a slightly larger screen. Let's see if I can remember the route through this level. Something. Ah, oh, yes. Let's collect torches. Torches. Torches are your time limit in this game. Bloody hell! I remember this now, like the whip's like kind of useless because it takes too long to use it and by the time your whip has gone out, someone shot you. Bloody hell. The show me, it would have made such a difference having an Indiana Jones tune in the game as well. Otherwise it's just sort of like re really lacking atmosphere. There we go. I know. Why did it have to be Specky Port? I mean, Mark A. Hutchison did some good games for the Amstrad. He did the uh, Paperboy conversion. Uh, Italy, Italy 1990. It was a decent footy game. Um, and he did Amstrad-specific versions of those games as well. Not just porting the Specky one. So, uh, yeah. I think US Gold must have put him under a lot of pressure to get it done in time for Christmas or something. What? Thought I was falling behind that guy. Barely touched him. It's no Temple of Doom. I mean, even that wasn't that great though, was it? Gotta wait for this to fall down. Indy's looking at you like, come on, what are we doing? I'm, not, I'm trying not to get you killed, mate. Why are you... Hey, Simon Osborne, a.k.a. Flibble-san, how are you doing? This is why you play the specky game. I know. I know. This guy could throw another one and hit me, by the way. It's really, there's no way to sort of time it perfectly every time. Thankfully, didn't get hit there. Christmas ruined a lot of games. Christmas ruined by a lot of games. I got you, Raspergu. Yeah. Uh, I don't think I got this for Christmas. I, I, I have a memory of dro driving home with my dad in the car and reading this, and reading like the manual on the way home. I don't think I got this as a Christmas present. I'm sure, fairly sure, this was like a Christmas release. So you could just do that, but wait for him and then jump jump behind him. Finally, we progress a bit further. Does this fall down? 
Yeah, it does. The indie sprite looks okay. The animation's all right, but it does look like he's kind of got a a limp, or he's like he's pooed himself, maybe. Yeah, I know that oh, there's a guy here. No, come on, come on, come on. Ah, this game. Oh. You think he shat himself for sure? <laughs> And we've got to do this section all over again. I was really looking forward to playing Indiana Jones tonight. But now I'm playing it. Uh, we've definitely got to have an Indiana Jones uh, themed am stream one night. Where we do all three games. But I've got to sit down and work out how to be Indiana Jones and the Fate of Atlantis again. I did a long play of that years ago on the channel. And boy that took some working out. I still quite haven't figured out how to beat the first level properly. I just copied what someone was doing on a Specky Long play, and it worked on the Amstrad one. But I have no idea how I managed to figure it out. It's the, it's the casino level, and he's supposed to sort of rig the tables or something like that. Anyway. Screw him. Brian Bri is already giving it a score six and a half purely for the decent uh, theme tune. Yeah, the theme tune is good. Right, there's a guy here. Here he comes. Damn! I can't catch up to him now and hit him from behind. No! The whip didn't reach him. Oh, I got him. Well, that whip is terrible. It's too slow. Okay. Careful here. I think if we get across these ropes, we've hit a restart point if we die. So, uh, okay. Here we go. <laughs> Only a tiny bit of energy loss. Oh look, the screen. I like that. You, your candle burns. It goes, goes, starts going out, and the screen gets darker. I like that. That's a nice touch. Whip it, whip it good, like the Devo song we heard on the Marble stream. <laughs> <gasps> that was close. That was really close. Oh, oh no. Actually, jump here. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Woo! I think this is another restart point. I think. Okay. I remember... Remember that G jump there, yeah, 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 yeah. Where do we go next? Oh, we've got to wait for that. There's a guy about to throw a thing at. <gasps> oh, that was so close! My God, if that hit me. I would have thought it would have fallen straight down and died. Now, where do we go next? Is it here? Oh bloody hell! I got shot. Ah! Roland does a crappy specky force. Yeah. Because <laughs> Roland trained you for this moment. <laughs> yeah, that was a restart point. Jump here. Could be able to avoid triggering that, triggering that guy, throwing something at you. Got to wait. For, I think we're gonna wait for that stalactite. Stalactite. Stalagmite. Come down. It isn't. Ah, I 
it's so slow on the ropes as well. I'm sure we've got to go left here. Pretty sure. We get him from behind. So you're better off punching them. You don't want the whips. Easier to kill them with a punch. There's the cross of Coronado above our head there. That's what we've got to get. Right. Might's up t uh, tight down. Right. Thank you, man. A natural useful top tip there, Johnny boy. <laughs> Boom. Look how quick the punch is. I could do three punches in the time one whip gets used. No! Oh, God. <laughs> right, go. Oh, there's a guy in the ropes, okay. What do we do here? Pretty sure that's a dead end. I think we're wasting time. Yeah, it's a dead end. Bugger. Look how slow he jumps as well. It's like he's jumping on the moon or something. Zero gravity. You've got to wait for him to go up. Tights on top because they cling tight. Uh, cling on tight to the ceiling. Is it? Thought it was the other way. God damn it! <laughs> oh man. The tights on the ceiling, mites on the floor. <laughs> right, okay. Congratulations, Indy has a new high score. I don't care. All right. Oh, did we lose the stream there? Let me just uh, check the stream health. Any problems on the uh, stream, guys? YouTube's telling me uh, the bitrate's got a problem. But I've got a good bitrate in my streaming software. I think YouTube's got problems. All right, we're going to give this one more go. It's fine here. Okay. Right, I'll, I'll just ignore YouTube. I'm not referring to UFC. Uh, I've got warnings in uh, YouTube's dashboard about bitrates. But um, I think it's lying to me. Bippy Stopper, how you doing, man? <laughs> it's all good here. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Anna's is fine as well. Zombie Peaks as well. Richard as well. Cool. And Batman. As long as Batman's happy, that's all That's all we care about. <laughs> yeah, the game cries in the background after that. Anna. Yes. Who cares about high scores? Right, let's do this. All right, we're gonna wait for this douchebag. Actually, can I not pick up the whip? Can I get? Yeah, I'll leave the whip. Where there's a whip, there's a way, but not in this game. Darren, I don't blame you if you're absolutely shattered, mate. You take care, dude. Uh, have a great weekend, man. Catch up on some rest and sleep. Thanks for tuning in, dude. See you soon, man. Got him. Sneak attack from behind. I think one of these will come down on me. No? There we go. All right, good. Good, good, good. 
No whips needed. I think you need the whips on the next level, which you're, you're on top of that circus train. There's a stalactite to the right that normally falls down. It's not. Ah! Now it does. Right. Well, do I'll take a snappy there uh, in the last crusade one. So we did good progress. Get behind this guy. No! No! Dead. I'll reload. Might as well. I'm behind this guy. Some of these climb faster and slower than the others. I don't know why they're like permanently, these guys are just permanently climbing and descending on the ropes forever and ever. Surely they must be knackered by now. Okay, this is a restart point here. So we'll take, uh, we'll take a snappy there. A little jump there. Now this stalagmite should stalactite should come down. There we go. Oh, you son of a Betty. Carry on. Two stalactites to fall. And a guy with a gun. Let's go. Or sneak, a sneak attack to Mindy, maybe. Got him. Roland on the ropes of doom. <laughs> I think it's a shame that this first level is so tough. Some of the later levels are more fun. Yeah. Although I like the atmosphere on this first level. Oh, look at this. It's getting darker and darker. I'm nearly dead, though. Got him. Dark green it goes. Actually increases the tension, this light slowly fading until, like, you, you're in pitch black. And that's a nice, to be fair, that's a nice touch. Jump here. we to wait for him to climb. I remember this. We have to wait for him to climb up the rope. And then we jump to the right after, then jump back on the rope after he's gone down again. And you can jump across to the left. I'm pretty sure we go left here. Jump here. Wait for him to go down. Ah, of course. Right, there we go. Torch the left there, but you can't actually reach it, I don't think. Huh? I'm sure this is the way. Oh, that's the exit! Oh. Hang on, I've gone the wrong way. I got the cross. I thought that this is the way to get the cross. So that's the right there is the exit and there's a stalactite, no stalagmite blocking the way. So it is over to the right here. Just got to wait for this guy to come up the rope. See? Oh, no! <laughs> Lifo, do you live in Northampton? No, I'm Nottingham. Why do you ask, dude? Oh, you asked if I lived in Reading as well before that. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
Fog has shot me in the leg. Idiot, I could have I could have easily avoided that. Bloody hell. Okay. Oh you knew it was an N, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm not I'm not him. Actually born in Leicestershire originally. Now I think this one is a dead end. It's the one just above we need to go. Mites are on the ground, tights are coming down. <laughs> That's a good way of remembering it, hopefully. <laughs> right, okay. Over we go here. Now, I'm sure, I think there's a guy with a gun. Yeah. He is. Dickhead. <laughs> Collision detection there. My fist was nowhere near him. Oh, for God's sakes. Although, we've got the cross. What a noise. <laughs> to signify we have collected the treasure we needed. The <laughs> Great. All right, we've got the cross. Can we escape, ladies and gentlemen? Time is running out. Oh, no, 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 no. I know what's going to happen. I'm going to... Hell. Time is running out. The candle or the torch is, like, burning out as well. Do it. How the fuck do we get... All oh, right, okay. We need to jump, like, just below it. Like... No, 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 no. Sakes, this game... Oh. You went on a rope, do they fall off? No, they, they are indestructible, sadly. Oh, we've got the cross in our possession, though, so we can just escape now. Okay. So, so what you had to do there was, like, jump just below the edge of the platform from the rope so you get kind of... You kind of like float in midair a bit and then you sort of move up and like that. Oops. But not like that. <laughs> if I got this on the CPC as a kid, I'd be gutted. Uh, was I gutted at the time? I I was a bit sad when I I saw when I actually started playing the game and it was like, oh why is it? One colour, apart from the bottles, bottom status panel, which actually looks good. Um, actually, I should have gone up the rope, shouldn't I? Bugger. Oh, waiting too long now. Um, I was okay with it. I, I got, I spent many hours playing the game, but I got bloody frustrated with it dying over and over and never really progressing that far. I don't think, as someone said uh, earlier in the chat, I don't think I ever got off the first level as a kid. And that's a sad thing. Right, come on then. Go. There we go. Right, I think we've done it, guys. Yeah, uh, yeah, the exit's open now. Remember, there was a stalag tight on the floor. And now we can escape. There we go. That's first level done. Actually, not that big a level. Don't fall, Indy. Ooh. Hey, there we go. FC Den Hog, good night, dude. Good night. We'll take a little snapshot here. Take care, buddy. We've got a bit of parallax on the go here. Oh, God, I remember this. We're on the top of the uh, train, which is carrying a load of circus animals. Timing just. Oh, no. Oh! What? Why did I just fall off the train like that? Oh! Oh! Technic! Holy 
do? Let's just become a Patreon! Wow, let's give you all the dancing sugars! Technic! Thank you, my friend! Thank you! Wow! Oh, Nick, you've made my evening. Along with a few other people, of course. Everyone else, yeah, I'm being here. Ah, whatever. Technic, thank you, man. Bananas in the chat for Technic. Who has just become a patron and a member of the Am Squad. Thank you, my dude. Thank you very, very, very much. Enjoy the dancing sugars and the fireworks there. Also... Yes, welcome to the Am Squad. Uh, you get uh, the Spanner of Doom next to your name here. You become a mod here in the chat. But it just helps me notice when a patron's joined, of course. But like, Technic, thank you, man. I will drop you a message on Patreon tomorrow directly to say thank you and tell you about stuff and things like that. Um, but um, if you're in my Discord, make sure you link your Patreon to Discord and you get access to like loads of private channels and stuff like that. Thank you, Nick. Thank you very, 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 very much, mate. Thank you. All right. Thank you, guys, as well. Giving Nick some love there. Welcome to the Am Squad, mate. Welcome. And uh, basically, when I get game over here, we're moving on to the next game. All right, guys? Enough indie. Yes. What? <laughs> cool. Thank you guys giving Nick a big load of love there. What? That sneaky giraffe. Yes, Obli. Yes. Yeah, I know. I, just, I know. I touched the giraffe. And uh, I just thought the collision detection there was a bit. Eh. India has a new score. Don't care. There you go. A bit of Indiana Jones there. The Master System Mega Drive got a version this game. Oh! I got. Oh, oh. Secret Stalkers donated five pounds. The best thing about Friday is having you stream. Who's this? Who's this Secret Stalker? Actually, let's pause my music there. Let's give him some fireworks and dancing sugars for that not at all creepy message <laughs> name. Who's my Secret Stalker? I could log into PayPal and see. <laughs> Thank you. What was the message again? The best thing about Friday is having you stream. Thank you, Secret Stalker, whoever you are. <gasps> Oops, excuse me. We have bananas in the chat. For our Secret Stalker tonight. Thank you, my friends. Thank you, whoever you are. Right. And um, what 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 score would you give Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade on the Amstrad, guys? It does rhyme with Pete Walker, but he went to bed hours ago. Four out of ten says Texi. Do you hate Derby? I hate Derby County. Yeah. <laughs> I know who it was. Am I allowed to say the destroyer? <laughs> An uneasy 4.3 out of 10 of my end. Slow gameplay and poor whipping. Barely saved. Decent jabs only to be taken out by a giraffe. <laughs> taken out by a giraffe. After all that. Yes. Um... Six and a half tunis, two out of ten for overall game. Donnie gives it a three. Robin gives it a three. Oh, is Gorka off? Sorry, Gorka, did I miss you there?
Uh, all right, there is off to bed. Have a great weekend. Gorka, take care, man. Have a great um, uh, have a great weekend yourself. Thank you for the banana knowledge of the tip earlier. And uh, you take care, buddy. Thanks for your support as always, dude. Timmy says you have way more patience than me for this game. <laughs> True. I'm just glad I got the first level done. Uh, Technic gives it five. Maud, generous five. Senior two. Richard, three or four max. My original was five, Zypho, but original was five, but Zypho loves it so much, it must be a seven. Gordon gives it a three and a half. Avocet, five. Six out of ten with patience, it's fun. Do you know what, guys? I'll, if it was a percentage score, it'd be, I think I'll give it around about 70%. Actually, I'm getting annoyed by the music now. The music's getting irritating. <laughs> so, yeah. So, probably might be a 7 out of 10 for me. Guys, I've been high scoring them higher than most people tonight. Jimmy Taylor! Oh, bless you, man. There's two pounds to the super chat. Love this stream every Friday, plus you're a top man. Oh. No, you're the top man, Jimmy. Thank you very, very, very much. Bananas again in the chat for Jimmy there. Let's see the bananas rain. And uh, secret donator before. I know who you are. I have worked it out. Am I allowed to say and give you thanks again properly? <laughs> Thank you guys for the bananas there. Okay, guys, requesting the chat for the next US Gold game to play tonight. What would you like to see? The Avocet gives it a 5 out of 10. Cool, but gets boring, yeah. Overall, too frustrating and dull, really. No, type in yourself. Have a great fun stream, everyone. Thank you, Obli. Hopefully, mate, I'll catch you tomorrow uh, late afternoon for some Apex Legends games, if I'm allowed. The missus allows me. Simon, what are you doing? I know it was you last time. Tranter. All right, we'll do Tranter next. Simon Osborne with the two pounds super chat. He was, I think, am I allowed to say, he was a secret stalker earlier. This good lad. Thank you, Simon. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> so I'll give you a few dancing sugars there, because uh, that's your second dono. Bang. Thank you, anonymous uh, secret stalker. <laughs> oh, I see the bananas rain down. Thank you, Simon. Chili sausage, you. You broke it. What have I broken? <laughs> Thank you, Simon. Your cam is glitchy, I know. It does it every now and again. It's better than what it was, though. Thank you again, mate. Thank you, Flibble Sam. <laughs> Bloody hell. I nearly choked on my drink there. Did everyone hear that sampled speech? Ooh. Oh, check this out. Nice intro. Ghetto Crew TV, how you doing, man? He says, that's my ringtone. Which one? What a great intro. There you go. <laughs> Better be a river of slime at the end of that. Oh. <laughs> Right. Is there any music here? Excuse me. I hope the game can live up to the intro. Have you never seen this game, Richard? 
Right, I'm just going to remind myself of what you need to do. Uh, I'm just getting the manual up. Right, there are eight terminals in the complex, each containing a letter. Record each letter, which then must be sorted into a computer-related word. Once you have obtained the word, you must find the security terminal and enter the word. You will then be given a beam code. Proceed to the beam area, enter the code, and after you've been successfully mission. Right, okay. I roughly remember what you need to do. But uh, yes, it's a David Perry game. Now very, very famous as a successful guy for Shiny Entertainment. Obviously you went on to do like things like Terminator on the Mega Drive, Earthworm Jim, loads and loads of stuff. Everyone should know who David Perry is. Play with joystick. Right, uh, which way do we go? That restores our weapon, I think. You have found C. I think, you, I think you need to keep a record of the letters you've collected. So I'm making a note of that now. C in my notes. Okay, right. Oh, energy restore. We've got a burger. Now, I think this is where we entered the level at the start. Oh no, run out of them! Um... Right, that's the first section done. I'm resetting, and we've got the letter A. Let's write that down, A, okay. Right. Wow, nice looking game this, as Andrea says there. Yeah, the graphics is, uh, and animation is gorgeous. The lift's there. Actually, we should probably have gone down in the lift. Right, we've got a shield. Excellent. I should have saved that letter. All right, I, I, letter I. So we've got C, A, and I. Okay, right. Um, reminds me of Savage by the same guy, David Perry. Um, did amazing stuff on terrible hardware. Yes, so Savage, uh, Extreme Dandare Dare Free, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles one as well. Uh, it's prop running proper smooth as well. Yep, yeah, Jimmy. <laughs> There's a lift down. Damn, I should have gone right. Oh, my energy's proper low. Oh, clock reset there. Is 
is lift, but we need our flamethrower. Damn! Wrecked! Do you have Sam Fox's pastry simulator? <laughs> I have the disc for it, yes, but I know I'm not playing it. You don't like the explosion noises, though? Oh, I thought they were alright. We got quarter of the way through the game there. It's actually a relatively short game. What's that? A disc? I don't know what that was. Craig, do you know what that was? I got a little a disc symbol there. Found S. All right. I tell you what we'll do because it's quite a short game. We'll we'll we'll, uh, we'll do some snappies. Right, Trantor. Trantor one. Okay, there we go. And we got letter S. Right. Okay. Better to go left. Energy restore again in the same locker. I think they are randomised each time, so that's that's a bit unusual. Right. Okay. The exit. But we haven't found. There's, there's the terminal. Okay. Found T. Write that down, S and T, just in case. Oh, is Brian off? Uh, let's see there. Uh, I'm going to say goodnight with his iPhone chat. Have a great weekend, everyone. Much love, Brian. Brian, take care, buddy. Have a great weekend, dude. Chill out. Enjoy the sun. <laughs> I hope you have a lovely weekend. Uh, oh, Robin, you're from Northern Ireland, are you? Because that's where I think that's where David Perry's from as well, isn't he? I've got Andrew from Northern Ireland here as well, of course. No clue what the disc was, sorry. All oh, right. Hmm. I don't know what it was, Craig. Oh well. It's not in the in the uh, manual either. Anyway, let's carry on. Uh, I think that's everything we need on the level. Actually, yeah. Let's do the terminal. You get the timer reset. So every time you go to a terminal, the timer resets. It's maybe worth leaving that to last, but I think we'll find another one in time. Son of a... Oh, got a shield. Nice. Saving and sa saving here. This is where you get immediately killed. This is where we get aliens spawning on us. So we we've got to go very carefully here. Oh! Timer resetting. Cool. You found T. Another T. We've got S T A T. Right. If those big blue aliens touch you once, it's, it's immediate, immediate death from game over. Oh no, I've got no more. I've got no more firepower left. Oh, I am so lucky. I am so lucky. But my energy is near zero now. Ah, right, okay. Another, t another terminal. Found S. S T A T. I got stats. Oh, but 
we've only got five letters. We've got three more to find. Uh, oh, I don't know. Can we guess it from S-T-A-T-S? -T -S? Status? Absolute rubbish. <laughs> so that's where we go to enter the password. But I ran out of energy. So what we'll do is we'll load, perhaps we'll load up from here. Go this way. Time reset. Damn. <laughs> oh man so we found another t there let's reload then okay let's go go left seems to be right Flame thrower. Oh, right. Right, we'll reload. <laughs> Game over. Found T. Didn't we find that? I don't know. Uh, we got STATS before. Has it changed? I'm reloading just before I wrote the letter down. What the last one was T. Hmm. Okay. All right. Bloody hell! All right, we'll go left. This we'll go left way. Just made it. Just made it. Right. Okay. <laughs> yes! Energy restore! That's a lucky, lucky find. I'm taking a snappy there. I don't care. <laughs> So this is a terminal, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Jesus, give me a... Flames, there we go. That's what I needed. So we'll go to the lower levels and... Uh... F? What the hell is that? What's that, Craig? Do you know that one? 
diamond. It's like a fuel tank. But there's the exit down. Timer resetting. Excellent. You found E. Right, E. Okay, cool. Stormtrooper, you've looked in here before, <laughs> okay. <laughs> huh? I have to press space bar to get out. Okay. Right, I really need to refuel my weapon ASAP, and it might depend on which route I go. Stormtrooper, you have 25 seconds to defuse this bomb. What do you do now? How do you defuse the bomb? Fuel flame flow refill. Oh, okay, right. But uh, how do we defuse a bomb? Uh, I'm reading the manual. Quickly. Uh, any idea before I unpause the game? <laughs> I'll take a snappy there. Oh, it's Avaceta. Uh, I'm bugging, he says. Have a nice night tonight and cheers to a great stream. All my love to you. Thank you, Avaceta. It's got some music on in the background, actually. Avaceta, take care, man. Have a wonderful weekend, man. And thank you for support, as always. Take care. How do we defuse this bloody thing? <laughs> Timer resetting? C. So how do we defuse the bomb? The survival rating is 60% better than me, Sob. <laughs> I've no idea how you dis uh, dis disarm the bomb. So if we go back a couple of snapshots. Started here. Oh, for God's sake. It's a different letter this time. Oh, no, it was C last time, wasn't it? Does anyone know about the bomb, then, and disarming it? Does anyone know at all? <laughs> oh, God. Gordon says, please don't ever play Italian 90 on here, okay? <laughs> Why is that? Surely wasn't that bad. Right, let's take a snappy here, because this is where... Let's see if we still get the bomb. We have 25 seconds to use this bomb. Uh, so we just won't pick, we just won't open that thing then, we won't have a bomb to defuse. Seems like the fairest thing to do. Damn! Alright.
and an E. Okay. Because it's it's all right, Italian ninety. It's not the worst game in the world. Definitely played worse. Damn. Oh, Technic. Good night, dude. And thank you very, very much uh, for becoming a Patreon tonight, mate. I really, really appreciate that. You take care, buddy. And have an awesome weekend. Oh, no. We didn't want to open that. Desperately need an energy restore soon. Bloody hell. Ah! What the hell is that? It looks like a bone or something? No, I'm trying to duck. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Right, take a snap of year. Let's see if we can do this bit without dying. I don't know what the fuck that is. Oh, that's the end of the game. You can't use this term a transporter until all the turn mills have been deactivated. And I ran out of energy. Right, okay. So all we need to do here is get this terminal. And And we need to go up twice and uh, decode. The exit, basically, I think, or something. Nutty hell. Bogger. No, 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 no. We just do. We need to do this section without. We need to do this bit without losing any energy. And I lost energy. Bugger! Where was it? It was somewhere here. Yes, here it is. Right. We've got enough letters then. So the letters we have, I think, are this. But I might have too many letters. I'll type it in the chat. But there might be an S too many. Now I need to do an anagram. Actually, how many letters are here? 
How many spaces? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think, so we need, it's like an anagram. It's an anagram. So what could be the code? Each record, record, record each layer then must be sorted into a computer related word. So go on then chat, you've got a little task on your hands. Oh, under this cassette. See, hang on, how many letters is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think it's cassette. Batman 77. Well done. A little Amstream Awards there. Correct. Uh, what's happening? Let's take a snappy there. Translation, uh, 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 activation beam code is PYI. PYI. Okay. We've now got to get there. And with tiny bit of energy. With, oh my god. Oh, hang on. Let's get our energy up. Well, flamethrower up. Okay, cool. Yeah, it was this way, wasn't it? I gotta do this section then without getting hit once. Oh my god. Just duck it. Also, the timer! The timer! Oh my god, the timer! Uh, Thirty seconds. Ah, oh. Oh, reload. I'll take it from there. Let's do a snappy there. Sixty why is it only sixty three percent when I'm near the end of the game? Son of a bitch! Come on, we've got 18 seconds! Oh man, I don't think I'm, I don't think I can do it. I don't think I can do it. I've got, I can't, I've got to, I've got to get to the end without taking a single hit. Actually, is the other way better or quicker? Yes, it is. It is. Right, go left. Go left. Go left. Go left. 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 Right, we've got to get to the right here. I think the end is to the right. Alright, we'll go 
left this time. Also, Spectrum user, how you doing, sir, as well? Welcome. Welcome, my friend. Fuck. We were so close to beating Tr uh, Trantor. But I've got no energy left. 18 seconds. I can't take one hit. It, the ending is right here. I'm pretty sure it is. Ah! Come on, we can do this. What? I got sandwiched. I'm an idiot. Go, 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 Sucker! Come on! I don't know what that does, but I'm collecting it anyway. Let's take a snapshot there to save a bit of time. Come on. Come on now. Oh. Trying to just blast my way through because the time limit as well is so tight. That is the end. Oh, oh. Don't want to shout it behind you. <laughs> I know. Mike ZT, good night, dude. Take care. Have a great weekend, Mike. Lovely to have you here again, mate. Go. No, 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 go in there. No! <laughs> oh, I was so close now. I, I was trying to use, the, use it and it wasn't happening. What? Oh, I need to use the, I need to use the terminal left of it. It's the terminal I need to hit. Bugger. Damn! <laughs> Come on! I tried to turn to the right there, I just... Oh. <sighs> Bugger. Fart! <laughs> What's going on with my windows there? Bloody hell. Oh, 
What? Cannot use this transport until all terminals have been deactivated. I thought we had! We've been to every level! Oh! <laughs> I'm moving on from that one. <laughs> you are kidding me. I'm sure we hit every terminal there. Oh, there's a map on a CPC Power website. Maybe there's like two terminals on the floor. I don't know. I'm sure I haven't missed any. Like, I'll get a. Uh, where's my browser capture? I think there's a map on the CPC Power website. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here's the map. Yeah, we started here. One here. Definitely. Is my mouse showing? Here, actually. Yeah, one here. So, this is a star. If you can remember that far back now. There's one terminal. Definitely did that one. Definitely did that one. And we definitely did that one. We definitely did that one. Again, I'm sure we did this one. There's one here. We did that. And we did this one. I know we did that one. This is the one that we just got to. They said there was not all terminals deactivated. I, I don't know, guys. Maybe we missed one. Maybe we did. I, I swear we did a level and we didn't move down to the next level until we'd found the terminal. We must have done because we got all the letters. What freaking terminal? Hang on. If we get a letter at each terminal and the mer how many letters in cassette? Eight, wasn't it? One... Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight letters, eight terminals, right? Oops. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Why am I only counting seven terminals? Because we got eight. We got eight letters. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. We've done all the terminals. It must be a bug. Is it the bomb you have to do? You did not count the one on the green level. We went to that terminal, definitely. We, we, were, we were on the green level. And I'm sh I swear we got the terminal. Maybe the snapshots did, but I'm sure I don't. I don't know. Probably worth not. Probably best not stressing about it too much. Then I think I think Richard may be right. I think it might be the bomb. Now the game clearly says. Mod said that you haven't deactivated all the terminals, and that was in a safe. Which safe was it? I think it was like this one here or something. Is this a cracked version? I don't think so. Oh no, I think it was. Mm. Don't trust cracked versions either. Yeah. Oh, the letter on the last floor. Because what happens is you have to go back up like a uh, special music. You have to go back up like two or three levels to the center terminal to put the letters in. So if you miss me getting that, it's because I already had it and I've gone to the terminal in the middle. So, yeah. We've got the letters. We've got eight letters. So we went to eight terminals. So it must have been the safe then. 
or it's the crack version, having having a paddy. All right, okay. Scores in the chat then for Tranta. What do you think Tranta deserves as a score out of 10? I don't think we can judge it harshly on that bug there, but it is a bloody tough game, even if it is a bit short. The Amstrad had the best version by the looks of it as well. Scores and requests in the chat for a game. As I just pop out just for a minute, guys, I'll be back with you in just like one minute. Uh, where's my be right back? thing i'm not going to be five minutes i'm literally going to be like two minutes guys okay all right guys um scores for transfer and then requests for the next us gold game to play tonight and i'll be back with you very very shortly Ooh. All right, guys, I'm back. Thank you, thank you. I just needed a uh, tip to Lou quick. <laughs> he didn't really want to know that. Um, so we are giving the game. What's the scores on the doors then for Tranta? Uh, we've got an 8 out of 10, a 6. Robin gives it 10 out of 10 for graphics. Gameplay just hasn't got that grab factor overall, 6 out of 10. I do like a good one gun, though. Mm. It's a tough one. But yeah, uh, Richard gives it a 9, Gordon is 6, Jimmy an 8, Fetch and Muse a 6, uh, Smoothie says 9, and it works easily. <laughs> Excellent. Vespergu a 7. Uh, Gordon gives it a number 1. 1? Really? 7 because of difficulty. Uh, Andrew says there's a game on your list called Black Magic. Wondering what that is. Give it five minutes and if it's rubbish, move on. Ooh, yes. Batman's requesting Outrun. Maybe. <laughs> uh, I'm wearing the Outrun t-shirt yet tonight, but no, too. <laughs> it's backwards. I know, I know. Uh, Lewis, take care, man. I've got work in the morning and I've run out of whiskey. No! <laughs> Unlucky dude. All right, man. Good night. Have a great weekend. And... Uh, Take care, dude. Have fun with the cabs. Um, and seven from Lucas. Yeah, I think I'll give you an eight. Eight and a half, maybe. Something like that from me. All right. Um, so I've got Black Magic on my list. 
That sounds interesting. Black magic. There we go. Now this list might not be exhaustive. It might be missing games. Um, might have incorrect games in the list. I did my best. I did my best from several websites. Oh, we missed the loading screen there. Stupid crap trope. Black Magic by Peter Ward. Action Software Limited. Datasoft is a registered. Now, Datasoft was a US company that US Gold were importing games from. And converted by Paragon. Paragon were a company US Gold to convert games to like home micros in the UK. Paragon did stuff like Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. So. We'll have a look on CPC Power. I'll get a screen capture up. Oop, not Paragon. Uh, what's it called? Black Magic. Uh, and I'll get the package up. Hang on one second. So, there you go. Datasoft. Ah, and at the bottom there. There you go. US Gold. If you can see that text there, it says US Gold. Oh, look, there's the US Gold logo and stuff. Right. Interesting box art. Looks all right. Okay. All right, let's get into it. I've never seen or played this one before. Quick swig of drink. Right, I'll pause the music just in case there's any music in game. Oh. Oh. He jumps. Right. Fire button doesn't seem to do anything. You can't diagonally jump. Ah! I don't think there's any sound. Yum yum, that really hit the spot. Oh, I've got an I've got a narrow. Get off me bird. So if the bird gets you, takes you all the way back to the start. Okay, so your food supply just ran out. Go away, bird! What's going on? No! <laughs> oh god, is that bird gonna really take take me all the way back to the what? Bird, let go of me! Stupid bird. I collected a thing there. God, that scrolling is really juddery. You were thinking of black tiger, were you? Oh, that's scrolling. Your food supply just run out. Oh, uh, I, I seem to have paused the game. And look, spells zip one. Port. You can use a Oh, you can use a spell. Let's go down here. No food to exchange. The troll curses you. What the hell is this crap going on then? Got the food. Trying to avoid this bloody bird. Oh, he's got me. Oh, Maud, do you know this game? Zangrim Cemetery. Touch the frog when you have food. 
Limited time arrows awarded. I'm trying to shoot arrows. Ah! You completed it. Bloody hell, Maud. So what the fart is going on? Am I am I doing the Am I going the right way? Am I doing the right thing? It's the bomb jack bird. Oh yes, yes it is. Oh, hang on a second. Uh Oksana uh Colo Colomo Colomo yet? Hello from Spain. Bonsoir. Hello. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome to the Am stream. How are you doing? Um. <laughs> welcome, welcome. We have a few Spanish friends here tonight. Excellent. Um, Anna says this game is Ask Candle of the Highest Order. <laughs> it says, got to find the eyes, says Maud. Oh, that... Uh, what what do you do about this bloody bird, Maud? No food to exchange troll curses you. Oh, oh shall we go down the ladder? How do I get out of the water? Oh, the bird carries you. Shoot bird once to send him away. How do I shoot him? Oh, I've got an arrow. <laughs> you failed your quest, game over. <laughs> so Adam's like, Andrew, what did you do? Oh, Jimmy, take care, man. This is going to call it a night. Enjoy the rest of the stream, everyone. Have a great weekend. Uh, to everyone, see you all soon, Zyfo. Thanks for a great stream, pal. Oh, bless you, Jimmy. Lovely message there as well. Thank you for the dono earlier as well, Jimmy. All the best to you and Jane. Uh, take care, buddy. Um, hopefully see you again soon, mate. Have an awesome weekend. <laughs> um, all right. We'll have a little more of explore one last time. So I need to shoot the bird with the arrow. Ah! Stupid bird. Look at all the food up there as well. Oh, eyes. I see. Maud was like, said, Maud said, collect the eyes. Okay. Oh, did I kill the bird there? Seems to be getting a lot more enemies now. What's going on? Ghosts and stuff. All right, ar ar arrows kill ghosts. Oh, there's a section down there. Got, there's a ladder down. Right, we need to go down and left. But we can't kill these pants. Get down the ladder. Come on, that's it. Good boy. Oh, 
Oh, I've got no arrows left. Who are these red guys, anyway? Bugger. Go away! Stupid plant. I'm going to take a damage here. Hell. Right, we've got arrows now, though. Bird's gone away. Good. Oh, right. The troll thingy awarded me arrows. Good. Good arrows. Oh, there's so much stuff down there. How do we get there? We're going to have to go back, aren't we? Ah, health critical. How do we get more health? I'll get down there. There's an eye. We needed that eye. Really low on arrows, though. What's down here? Water that we can't cross, I think. Hang on, what's happening? What? I'm trying to shoot arrows. What's going on? Food will translate into health over time. Okay. Volcano Bridge. Hey, Maud, how do we get across the Volcano Bridge? Any idea? This could easier have been Ronan Go Spelunkin, says Smoothie. Oh, red guides are prisoners to be rescued. Gotcha. Do they give you any benefit, though? Red guys in Cow and Chicken. What's Cow and Chicken, Anna? Is that some cartoon I don't know about? <laughs> Uh, you can cast spells by pressing fire, standing still. I ideally need to find frog to level up so I can cast uh, conjure food. Oh, right. In the sea does Mario vibes, says Andrea. Shoot down at, shoot arrows at stalactites. How do you, how, ooh, how do you angle your arrows? I didn't know you could do that. 
I've only been able to sort of shoot them across. I'll try. Oh! Awesome. Oh no! I see, I got it, I got it. Oh, that's kind of clever, I suppose. <laughs> My food supply just ran out. That's not good. Yum yum, that really hit the spot. Nice, lots of food. There's a guy to rescue there, but I don't see how you get to him. I'm actually quite... I'm slightly enjoying this. Yes, the... Um, scrolling is dreadful. It's quite colourful. Am I going the right way, Maud? By the way. And uh, as Andrea asks, is it a long game? Oh, I think I just shot a frog. I didn't want to. Ideally, we want to touch these frogs and get spells right. Well done, noble one. Don't know what that square was. Oh, we got another eye. Well, arrows. No! Stupid bird. Oh, thank God he didn't take us far back. Okay. Got four out of the six eyes. Level up, I could cast new spells. What I've never actually used a spell yet, I think, at all in the game. So what do I need to use the spells for, Maud? I've oh, got unlimited arrows. Right, okay. Request Solomon's key. <laughs> okay, so we've got a, a long backtrack here, which kind of sucks. Oh no. Well, we go up here and go right, I think. I'll just right on that. What's this thing? You won't jump? Oh, that blocks your way, so we can't go that way. Oh. 
You failed your quest. Oh, well. Cast oh, too late, Maud. <laughs> well, I don't know what um, I needed there. Oh, well. I got quite far in that. Bloody hell. Got four out of the six eyes. Is that quite far? Actually, I don't think so. Actually, I've just seen there's a map on the CPC Power website. Part one, part two. Oh, we did two parts of the game anyway. So, see my cursor? Yeah, over to the left here was the first eye. Top left. Uh, we still have quite a way to go by the looks of it. Oh, yeah. We had a long way to go. <laughs> Good Lord. Right. There you go. Black Magic. Andrew has requested that. I find that quite interesting. So that's a damn good suggestion. It wasn't a great game, but that's not the point, as always. It's not a terrible game or a bad game. There's also a separate part two as well. Looks like it is this thing here. That's part two, yeah. <gasps> okay. Scores on the doors for uh, Black Magic. What score out of 10 would you give that, guys? And... Um, what game would you like to see next? Request, please, guys, as well. I will give that a... I think I'll give that a 6 out of 10. There you go. Andrew gives it a 6. Moore gives it an 8. Retro on Limb a 7. Welcome back again, Retro on Limb. Tazong gives it a 5. Lucas a 7. Richard a 6. Robin a 3. And Smoothie a 5. Amsoft quality at retail price. <laughs> Good comment. Yes, I see what you say. Impossible Mission 1 from Lucas. He's, ask, he's after. Uh, Batman gives it a 5 out of 10. Let's turn off the blue browser capture there. That was Black Magic then. I didn't see it, but I'll give it a 4. <laughs> okay, Gordon. Malk, Amstrad Games Pack costs over £150. Yeah, but you can still buy Amsoft titles separately. <laughs> right, while we're getting some suggestions of games in, um, give me two secs. One sec, guys. I'm not going far. Sorry, my uh, my bum's beginning to hurt, so I need to stretch my legs a bit. Oh. Oh, that's better. Oh, not itchy nuts, no. Although, let's be honest, most of us are going to be pretty sweaty in a lot of places at the moment. <laughs> No, my, my leg's cramping up a bit, that's all. And my bum hurts. The, yes, Andrea, I agree. If the scrolling issues were sorted, that could have been a good game. Yes, I agree. Yeah. I said Moonwalker earlier. What about Chips Challenge? Ooh. Ooh, I don't think I've ever played that before. And I've... <laughs> maybe, Simmy. Maybe. Who wants to admit they've got that at the moment? I think, I think all of us do. Apart from the ladies here. Uh, yeah, do you know what? I don't think I've ever played Chips Challenge on the Amstrad. Bizarrely, I think I've played it on someone's Atari Lynx. Because Lynx, fan, Lynx fans bang on about it being good. We'll have a look at this quick then. Bloody hell, Tazong. No, I think not. <laughs> I think it wants actually the second disc I've got for this.
Yeah, that's not working. Tell you what, let me um, let me get it from CPT Power website quickly. Right, it's just downloading. I've got a capture code to enter off screen. Uh, X XYP is my initials. Oh, you can't see it on that capture. It's only capturing one browser window. Ah, never mind. Ah. Uh, videos, Amstrad, 60 ROMs of games. There we go, it's just downloaded. Ba -ba. Huh? Why is it not running automatically? Oh, I know that. Okay. There we go. Yeah, apparently the Link's version is meant to be really, really good. Chips challenge, eat two, eat, eat two bags of chips and curry and, and a kebab. Oh, 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 it's music, it's music. Welcome to the Amber version of Chips Challenge. Nice scroll there. Ooh, it's good. It's not just me fan. this before so I don't know what I'm doing. You still use 24-7 music? Yes, all the music you're hearing tonight in the background I'm putting on is 24-7. Yes. He's nearly done with his new album and his third album. <laughs> no I will not Gordon. Are you a you're not a Derby fan are you Gordon? <laughs> Intro there. Nerdy Chip Mc McCallahan. Sonny stops eating lunch. Melinda the Mental Marvel is sitting down next to him. Melinda smiles. Chip, she says. If you finish the challenge, you can join our computer club, the Bitbusters. <laughs> the Bitbusters. Oh my god. Chip has been a distant admirer of Melinda for a long time. Chip crunches his bag of pretzels and gulps. I'll do it. Please enter the code of the starting level or press fire to begin. Okay. 144 levels! Bloody hell. Lesson 1. Alright, I'm just going to take a snappy there quick because I have no idea what I'm doing. So what is it we have to do? Collect keys for doors. Collect chips to get past the chip sockets. Use keys to open doors. I picked up red key twice there. Oh, I see. door won't open. Alright, okay. Oh, have I just screwed myself? Oh no, forget it here. So I've got a green key. I need to open one of these doors that has a green key in it. Uh oh. Oh, I've already got two green keys. That's okay. Right. Go Bitbuster. Yeah, it's not smooth though, is it? Zombie Peak, the Zombie Peak Sphinx is an amazing game. I didn't know there was a CPT version of Moonwalker. We can do Moonwalker! 
you want to. <laughs> it's not it, but the later levels of Moonwalker are good. I'm just reading the chat there, sorry. Catching up with you guys. Simon's still here. I think Moonwalker and the Mega Drive was the best version, even better than the Mega Drive one, I think. From my memory. Oh my god, you had this on a green screen, Malk. I bet that was tough. Right, that's a block in the way. Push blocks into water to make dirt. Watch out for monsters. Okay. So we need to... What? You can't. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, then you need to walk on it. But now I can't. <laughs> I'm doing all right, thanks, mate. I have, I've had a week from hell, but I, it's all good now. Spending time with you guys in the AM stream has just lift, lifted me and cheered me up no end. Um, but yeah, Moonwalk on Moonwalk is the RK for my Mega Drive. Best Moonwalk is the RK for my Mega Drive, but the Master System is a really good effort. Oh, okay. I always thought the Mega Drive version seems a bit more fun. I don't know, but. Cool, cool. I'll go, I'll go with what the smoothie says. Or smoothie was a green screen sufferer. Oh. <laughs> you got to pack it down first. I've, I've found out in the end, pal. Pork. Thank you, man. Thank you for helping out there. Bri uh, Byron Barry, welcome to the stream. Sorry if I missed you earlier. You know, they did follow the arcade version for Moonwalker. That is true. That's true. Could always look at Moonwalker next, actually. Right, lesson three. Let's see what this has to say. Magnet for force floors. Heat shield for fire. Water shield for water. Cleats for ice. Oh, God. I've got loads to remember here. So. Ah. Right. So this should be a water shield. Fire restarts the level. Oh, that's that's ice. We need the cleat. So this is a water shield, right? Ah. So you just collect them all up. Gotcha. Right, I just need to find the exit. Where's the exit? It's a shame it scrolls in like chunks. Not a smooth scroll, but hey ho, hey ho. 
Alright, I'll catch you in a bit, Retro and Liam. Oh, Matt Corbin! He says, how you doing? Uh, uh, again. Last week was epic. Not sure if everyone stayed to watch, but Zyfe almost fell asleep trying to complete the game. Oh, the Adams Family. Yes, if anyone missed it, we did actually get through all of Adams Family last week. And I, oh, it's nearly 4 a.m. I finished. <laughs> that full stream will be up as soon as I can. I'm, it had a copyright claim, and I'm fighting it at the moment. So, um, it could take up, up, to, up to a month. Yeah, I might do me Walker next. Yeah. Guess you're going to be a bit sugar after level 10, says Maud. Nice tunes from David Whittaker here. He's done quite a few. Oh. The blue button controls the tanks. The green button toggles walls. Sometimes things are under, hidden under blocks. Blue button controls the tanks. Green button toggles the walls. I see. Ah, all right, so like a toggle system. I got gotcha. you. Right section done. Oh, I see. Nice little puzzler. Just that scrolling, it's kind of not nice on the eyes at times. Why they have to scroll it in chunks like that? Ah, hidden chips. How, do, how was I supposed to know there was a fire thing under there? How do I give a donation for future reference? Oh, bless you, man. You can do the super chat thing, look at that dollar sign where you type things. Or uh, preferably, there's like a, uh, there's a link in the description and the um, Nightbot will spam the link every now and again for, for Streamlabs. Hey, thank you, though. Uh, the Monsters were better than the Adams Family. <laughs> yeah, I have a lot of liking for the Monsters, but the Adams Family movies were awesome. So we're going to do all this again. Oh, did I just lock that? I did, yes. Alright, I'm going to see what the next level is like. See what new things are. Then we'll probably move on to another game, okay guys? Because uh, uh, I think people get a bit bored on streams or watching streamers do puzzle games. Really well designed game, but I think I struggle with the scrolling on the Amstrad version. Do you know what? It's not nice on the eyes. I've got to be honest. So there's no way of knowing this centre block is got a fire under it. Because when you push a block, you move with it. You can't, I don't think you can just push it and stand still. So I'll just walk straight onto that fire. Hmm. I don't like games where you need prior knowledge of a death trap to get through a level. Anyway, we've done it anyway. Ooh, excuse me, guys. Let's 
lesson three. Lesson five, sorry. My apologies. Uh, I'm not north or south, I'm in the middle. I'm at. Ooh, looks at rocks. Are we talking about northerners and southerners again? <laughs> I think I missed the whole conversation there. Never mind, never mind. Oh, you're the belly button of the UK. Who's the fluff? I was she. Rasbergu, he's still here. Good man. The red button uh, controls the clone machine. The brown button opens traps. Red button controls the clone machine. Oh, the cl oh, he's setting off the clone machine. Right, I see. So we need to lock him out of this that thing out the red button because he keeps building clones. I think we're too late. Alright, we've got the red key, so we're all good. Oh! What are those things? Alright, I'm going to turn off the red button because I won't be able to get that red key. I see, I've blocked that blue thing off, so that's not sh that red thing is no longer spawning flames and stuff. Now get this. Right. But they're meant to be bombs, are they, Maud? Right, okay. They look like your stereotypical bomb. The red in colour. Okay. What? What's this? I'm, I, I appear to be stuck. I can't move. Right, I'll have to reset. Music is said to be a little bit loopy. Don't worry, we're moving on to another game very shortly. That's a trap, is it? Oh, hang on. So what did it say about that? The brown button opens traps. Oh! Right, that's, so it's a trap. So that thing was stuck in a trap. What the hell is this? Is it doing your head in, Anna? Oh, so I release that from the trap. I release it from here and it goes and destroys this bomb that's in the way. Ah, oh, there you go. The music is getting on your <laughs> Lesson six. Have a quick look at this. Blue walls may be fake. Some invisible walls never appear. There can there can be extra chips. Ah. Oh. I see. Ah. You have to test each. That's not fun. It just means you have to test each of these bloody walls. I don't. I think that's the outer wall, anyway. So that's not going to be anything. Let's just test them quick. Are you enjoying this music, then, guys? <laughs> This particular tune is not particularly great. Ah. So now you 
can't get through. There, there was an exit there. Yeah, that was her first try. Oh, you get some different music. <laughs> Uh, although my CPC 464 is gone. Hey Chiefy! Hello again. It's gone. I'm gonna get to pick up, uh, pick up a sure to be very deputed Z80 chip at the post office tomorrow. Oh, what are you going to do with that Z80 chip, Chiefy? More just digging the tunes. I am, apart from that last one. Teleports can be directional. The thief takes your tools. New walls can appear under you. Oh god. chips challenge for tonight I'll take a snapshot uh, of where we got to maybe I could maybe I could do some more chips challenge another night oh I'm getting tired today guys I'm getting tired I tell you what I'm gonna get moonwalker we'll have a look at moonwalker while we when we do guys I just ask no like uh, jokes or comments about Michael Jackson or whatever we've got we got some people here that really really um, are big super fans of Michael Jackson I don't want anyone getting upset so if anyone does make any silly jokes and stuff like that I'm just gonna uh, delete the comment and then eventually block and ban, ban okay warning over let's get to, let's have a look at Moonwalker uh, QCL Sorry, I'm doing the capture code on CPC Power website. I want to get the proper disc and make sure this works. We've had some bad cracks tonight, so let's see how this goes. Uh... Okay, let's get this up. Retail version original. Got it. Cool. Oh yeah, sorry. Scores on the doors of Chips Challenge. Um, oh, let's pull my pause my music there. What score would you give Chips Challenge, guys? Uh, seven Chips Challenge, but nine on a smoother format. I'll agree with you, Maud. If you had smooth scrolling, I perhaps pop it up to an eight or something or nine. Nice intro. Broken by Emerald Software. They weren't known for good games, Emerald, unfortunately. I think they were an Irish company, Emerald, hence the name. But their only other claim to fame was The Running Man, and this is probably the best game they made. I think they could have done a better job on the music. Chips Challenge uh, was going for 7 out of 10 from Batman. Andrew gives it 7. Richard is 7. Simeon 8. Oh, I blame the Irish cipher. <laughs> I'm not saying, I'm not blaming them because uh, uh, I'm not saying it's crap because they're an Irish team. I just, they, they were an Irish team. <laughs> Uh, actually, do we have a cheat to skip this first level? Because it's bloody... Oh, there's not a cracked version of this game on CPC Power. Is there a poker or a cheat to skip levels? Can't see one on the CPC Power website. It's a shame, because the later levels are actually quite good. I think the... There's a scrolling shoot -em up level I remember being quite fun. I know you're joking, Andrea. I know. 
Now, if I just pause it there, let me just check something. Have we got a map of the... Uh, I was hoping we'd have a map of the first level. Might save me a bit of time. Uh, I'm just going to have a quick look at the Spectrum website, because they often have maps. Now, I, I assume it's probably going to be the same. Have a look. Yeah, game map. Specky map. Uh, hang on a sec. Got a spectrum map of the first level. This actually might save me a bit of time. Oh, there's the full map. Ah. So what you have to do is collect all the pieces of Michael Jackson's equipment, I think. I didn't see him, I'll give it a 6 out of 5. What have you been doing then, Gordon? You haven't seen the last few games. <laughs> uh, it's not a bad rendition of the tune. It's okay. Uh, it's just not like amazingly good, is it? Um, actually, I think I'll keep these maps up. This might save me a bit of time. It's not actually a hard map to navigate, but let's see how let's see how far I get tonight. Where do we start out? Top left. God, I hope I don't have to collect these in bloody order, because that would be a nightmare. Right, if off we go then. items in order or not. Oh, a key? Ah, these are not in the same places as the specy version, I think. So this map might be completely bloody useless. Looks like Sim City. <laughs> Tune kicks in here, it's not bad. I think there's an according to the specky version, there should be an item here. So the Yeah God that um radar map is rubbish. Uh-oh. Oh, we can run! I didn't know you could. Who's that chasing me? Hey, smoothie, I've got a, I've got a confession to make. I have, I've never seen the movie. I'm sorry, dude. <laughs> Maybe I'll me and Mrs. I will sit down and watch it one weekend. Honest opinion though, Malk, is Moonwalker actually a good movie? What? I have one question though, if you have to hold down the fire button to run, and that's all it does, why does it, and there's no penalty for running. Why doesn't he just run all the time? Now right, or run on auto. Right. So basically, to collect all the items from Michael Jackson and oh, I can't run now. Hang on. Oh, you do get fatigued. Oh, there's another item up here. Oh, sugar, I missed one.
Oh no! Oh, the map on the screen. Oh. Oh God. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm such a bad streamer. I didn't realize it was up there. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. No, I said anything for ages, though. <laughs> That's all right. Oh, blimey. Um, thank you, Simon. Uh, uh, no, it isn't. The smooth criminal uh, segment is the best bit. Is that we're talking about the movie? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I apologise. I'm really tired. I, if I'm honest, you guys, I'm really tired. I want to go to bed, but I will. Um... <laughs> I think I'll just carry on. You've not really missed much. I've just been moving around this uh, area. And uh, I thought I'd just crack on and get as much of it done as I can. Uh, right, I need to move around here. Oh no! Go away! What the hell is that thing anyway? Yes! Got all the items we need. When I, saw, when I thought people were saying, and also, when I thought people were saying Matt, I thought you were referring to like, I thought you were saying, Zypho, look at this, like the uh, on screen map or something like that. <laughs> oh no. Uh, oh no! Actually, I've got to pause it there, see where we go next. We've got one, two, three. So we've got an item down from us somewhere. Oh, crap. I could have got that earlier. And I've gone the wrong way again. Never mind. So I thought you were talking about, like, so if I used the mini map or something. I was like, oh. <laughs> oh, never mind. There's an item behind there. We need to go back along here. Smooth scrolling criminal. It, it, the scrolling is not too bad, actually. I, I've seen a lot worse on the Amstrad, oh, and we all have. Especially that Black Magic game, a chips challenge. Uh, so it should be something. Up oh, oh, what the hell is that? Got another boot. I don't know who designed this game, but I mean, it's kind of a bit of a boring first level. We're just collecting bits of his clothing and the microphone and all that kind of stuff. Where do I go from here? I can't see it. Where, where is it on the map? It's right at the bottom of this section. No, I'll just go down here. Go away! Actually, let me just consult another map here. I don't want to miss an item. I have. I need to. Oh, I need to go back to where I, where I was before. Are you sure it's a microphone? Yes. Uh, Gordon. Good night, Gordon. Take care, dude. <laughs> um, 
Take care, man. Have an awesome weekend. Simon says it's someone that wants to give you a hug. I think I'll get a game over there. All right, guys. Yeah. Be behave. Be good. No! Oh, God, it takes you all the way back to the beginning. Spooky Lord Zypho is not happy. <laughs> right, we need to go right here. Uh, go right here and down. You did warn me not to play this. That is true, Smoothie. Retron Limb, I just warned people, don't write careful. Oh no, I was trying to lead, lead this person out of the area. Oof, that was close. I think we should be good for him now. Oh, it's Richard. Right, I'm not, oh, Richard, Richard Bivash, take care, dude. Good night. And have an awesome weekend, buddy. See you soon, man. Okay, that's the next item. We've got one more item to get, I think. Just going to pause the uh, game here a second. I'm going to consult the, consult the map, make sure I don't miss it, so we can get this done and move to the next section. Oh, there's two items. Two more items. Let me have a look. I'll bring the browser up so you guys can see. So, hang on. Ah! So yeah, we're here, and is that an item? No, I think that's just a bad guy that got caught on this on the screen capture. I think we better check that out just in case. I think there might be an item here and an item top right. Okay, when we come out of here, just go up and right, up and right, up and right. Okay, and then we're done. Right, that's quick, the quick way to get through that. Okay. The rabbit mask. Good night, Richard. Take care again, mate. Uh, that thing in the orange, Zypho, that's an overweight fan on a scooter. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> Good Lord. Sorry to beat the game. Oh, maybe it is. Right, should be good. There it is. Uh, once we go. 
got that, keep going up and right again. Seen, I, I've not seen me Walker before, so uh, all right, I think we're safe. Right, how, do, how the fart do we get out this section? All right, we've got to go down here, left, bottom left, bottom left, all right, directly down there. Actually, actually, I'm lost. All right, I know where I am. Right, I know where I am now. Okay. Oh, there's still an item to get. Shh, okay. Right, it's around this building. And then we go up. Oh, it's a disguise to escape the fans chasing me. It makes sense in the in the movie. Right, gotcha, gotcha. right up here, which is actually quite nearby. Let's go! There we go. Escaped on the bike. There we are. Watch the speed demon vid. Ah, okay. I, uh, not now though. <laughs> I don't want another copy. I don't want another bloody copyright strike on the stream. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna have a quick look at the uh, map here for level two. Just familiar, familiarize myself with it before we get into it. Oh, you're on a bike. Okay, it's a similar level to the first level in a way. Um. But I want to get to level three, which actually is actually a scrolling shoot 'em up. It's actually pretty nice. Right, where where the frick do we start in this? I'm just trying to find it on the map. Right, I'll bring it the map up on the browser. There you go. Uh, where's the start and end? Uh. Where do we start from here? Oh, it's bottom right. Somewhere bottom right, I think we're starting from. Looking at the mini map, I think. Actually, I don't even know what we're supposed to do in this level. Oh, I'll just, I'll just, I'll just plink around it. And see what happens. I think we're meant to collect these yellow dots or something like just above me here. Ah, right, look at the map. I've got to collect all the green bit things that are marked in green for the yellow. So, <laughs> the things I need to collect are marked in green. But the yellow on the screen, but the enemies are in yellow on the minimap. Okay, that makes sense. Sugar. And 
they're not entirely accurately marked either on the map. Sounds a bit better here, yeah. Although, as Mount says, I think it tends to loop. Oh! At least this level seems to present a bit more of a challenge. Lamborghini type thing for a second there. That allowed me to jump over that gate there. Okay. Okay. So that really, the first two levels are just a very simple, mazy collectible. Not great stuff, really, for like a full price game. I think US Gold could definitely have done a bit better with the game design. Oh, oh sorry, hang on, was that Rainer's going to bed? Uh, pretty much if I tell you I've gone to bed an hour or more ago. No worries, Rayno. You take care. Good night and have a awesome, have an awesome weekend. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, uh, I think I'd rather watch Paint Dry than this as Tazong. Thank you for the stream, but enjoyable as this. Just can't watch it. No worries, Tazong. Um, um, take care, man. Get get to bed, dude. Have a great weekend, and we'll see you soon, man. All right, take care and good night. Here, but there's a bad guy here as well. That was bloody close. Alright, we've nearly done this though. There's only a few more up here. And I think that is the end of this level as well.
Oh, that's the exit to the level. Right, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Ah! Right, let's start off over here and get this section done. Which is GTA 1. <laughs> time there. Guys, did you see what happened there? Did I drive in the car for too long or something? That's a bug. Must be. Unless I did something wrong there? Did anyone spot what I... What, what did I do wrong there? What, do you only get, like, to drive in that car for a certain amount of time? If you don't get to the exit, you don't... You run out of power or something? I don't know. Maybe I wasn't quick enough getting to the exit. Uh, Retro Nim reckons it's a bug. What? I just got shot. Alright, oh, okay. I think the orbs power your car. Maybe. Were the orbs draining? See the see the the orbs list in the bottom right corner of the screen. There's four of them at the moment. Maybe they were ticking down as I was driving around in the car and I ran out of all power or something. I mean, I have completed this game before. Right, so let's save it here. Meanwhile, Kurt. Or two, right? Oh, I've not, I've not turned into the car. Have I missed an orb? I did, I missed one down here. Oh look, there's a time, new time limit, five, four, Right, right. So I'm gonna leave that orb there and come back for it. Get this one. So leave the last orb as near as possible to the exit. The exit is the white dot, top left. Tight time limit to get to uh, right. 
Right, save that there. I've got nine seconds to get to the end. Oh, you are freaking joking. Right, you come here. Come over here, dickhead. Come over here. Wait, 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 wait. Go, 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 go. Five, four. You are joking! Oh, what did Nightbot do there? Oh, cause you said, you said S H I T, naughty mouth. Come on. Oh, you can't drive diagonally in this car. Up, down, left, or right. Oh my god, you've got to leave an orb near the exit. That's got to be the last orb you collect. That's the exit right here where my bike is. So don't collect that orb. Collect everything else but that one. Right, okay. Ugh. That's how you beat this level. And I think that is the end of the level after this. It's, oh god. Ah! Sorry. <laughs> oh, kidding me. Such a big fan of US gold, Malk. <laughs> I kind of want to see like uh, the next level. No! Oh, uh, I want to see the shoot 'em up level, Malk. Right, so there's one guy on my tail somewhere. Ooh! It's right, it's one guy. It's one enemy. Right, let's go get the last orb and escape. If I don't get crushed. They really could have done a better job on the music as well. Just save it here, just in case. Oh, you are kidding me. You are kidding me. Go away. Oh, no. I need, you need a, more of a run-up. Oh. Can I get this guy out of here? Yes, yes, I can. Yay! Oh, there's more. I think it's probably going to be the last game of the night anyway, so let's get this done. Collect these green dots. There's one all the way down here. this level I'm not 100% though I think it is I pray it is There's 
really is not that hard. Now I know what you're doing. There's some annoyances, and it's just lapses of concentration. Where are the last bits? section. I think this is definitely the last section. It look, looks like it's done it in quarters. We're now in the top right quarter of that map. It looks quite small this section anyway. Done. Okay, last few here. Take a snappy there just in case. And I'm going to catch up the chat at the end of this level. I know I've been ignoring you guys for a bit. Pick up the thing! Oh, thank God for that. What? I'm now a speedboat. Hang on. What's going on here? I'm looking at the map here. Oh. Yeah, this, is the, oh, this must be the last bit. All right. Okay. If you can see where the cursor is, we just jumped over that. So we're just going to navigate around it. Around here. Right, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You jump over there, turn into a car, and that's your last bit. This is the last bit. Oh, my God, thank God. You've connected families tonight, have I, Andrea? How have I done that? Uh, really? Hang on, sorry. Let's just have a moment there. Robin Hook. Uh, so, sorry, Andrea's talking to Robin I love genealogy. I philo... Uh, right history. I can't believe that we are connected through such a random thing on a random stream. Hang on, what's been happening? You're, uh, hang on, so Robin Hook said my aunt was their nanny to Andrea earlier. Nice, I know the current owners. Yeah, we own Tato Castle, it's our an ancestral home. What have I missed? Andrea, could Andrea and a Robin, could you sum it up for me? Because like in, in the chat, if you like at someone and then you're talking to them, I tend to like uh, ignore it because like you're chatting to each other, not to me or generally and stuff like that. So I I, I, I sort of glanced over your messages to each other. So I'm <laughs> I need to catch up there. Uh, wow, Lucas says, I just listened to the Amiga. It's a five second loop of music. Are you kidding me? Really? Oh my god. Awful. Worst tune I've heard on the Amiga. How could they do that? 
when you got great such great music. Batman, take care, dude. Good night. See you soon, man, and have an awesome weekend. Thanks for watching, man. Take care, dude. All right, back to the music. Are you ready? <laughs> I hope it's worth it getting to this shoot 'em up level. I remember it being alright. Which is the level coming up shortly, guys. second let me just check the map here ah uh, i've gone too far there's probably we need to go back there's one more we've, we've missed one over here oh oh got stuck on that Robin Hook are related almost. Hang on. Tell you what, I'll read it in full in just a second, Andrew. We're very, very close to the end of this level. Snapshot, just in case, just in case, just in case. God, this level goes on for too long. Please, love of God, end of the level. Yes! Finally! We're on to the bad level. <laughs> right. We'll take a snappy there. Also... I just seen something come up in the chat there, and I promise I'll catch it with Andrew in there. Lucas Rainford, the two pound donation through the two super chat. This my eyes are like two sick burns in a duvet. <laughs> wow, you have a way with words, Lucas. You have a way with words. A poet, a true poet of our time. Lucas, thank you very, very much. This is top stream out. Oh, bless you, mate. Thank you very, very much, Lucas. Let's see some bananas in the chat for Lucas there. There we go. And let's see the bananas rain down. Thank you, Lucas. Cheers, my dude. Cheers. <laughs> Enjoy your dancing show. Have a great weekend, mate. All the best to Leah as well. And uh, we'll see you soon, dude. All right. <laughs> Take care, man. And rustlers. You can have some rustlers as well. <laughs> Okay. Oh, Andrea. Sorry, Andrea. Says, sorry. Uh, uh, Zypo, our two families are connected. Mine used to own Tato Castle, and Robin's family were nannies to ours in the past, I think. But our families are connected. Uh, but our families are connected in some weird way. Also, Andrea, I'm seeing your new avatar as well, so that works eventually. Uh, wow, that's amazing. So you just, uh, I guess, you got talking about Northern Ireland stuff, and then about where you live and. Uh, wow, what a, that's a weird, that's that's amazing. So uh, bringing two families together, that's awesome. Are you going to speak more off stream then and uh, work it, figure it all out and stuff? Well, that's great. All right, okay. We finally got to the level um, we wanted to have a check out tonight. Um, scrolling shoot 'em up level. I can't remember exactly what you do, but it's the penultimate level of the game anyway.
Hang on, how do we get a gun? Oh, we have to pick one up first, right. And is that a thing we have to collect here? That gives us ammo. It's not a good rendition of Smooth Criminal. I'm going to have to be honest. Oh, I died. Oh, I've got no ammo left. My strength's really low. Scrolling's not great here. So where do we get more ammunition from? Oh, it's the, oh, the level loops around. Where'd you get more am ammunition from? Oh, I found some. God damn it, they shoot you so quick. What? Oh, I've got no ammo left. So I'm going to find some ammo from somewhere. I'm just going to get shot and die. Again. There. Ah! It was up the stairs. Where were the stairs? We've just gone past them. Oh, my eyes are really hurting. Oh, it's here. Oh, oh the clips have moved down. It's down the bottom of the stairs. What? Why did that kill him? Alright, I'm out of ammo again already. Oh, this sucks. So you can't hide from the bullets. I'm just getting massacred. Uh, you run out of ammo so quickly. I can barely see where there's... Oh, I can, oh, I can jump. Alright, okay. Ammo pickups are like is oh there it is. Ah, 
And we're dead again. I thought this level was alright when I played it. My memory is fading on it. It's it's ass. There should have been more levels like this, but better done. Alright, no more spawning there. Oh, add ammo there, ammo. Thank God for that. Nine bad guys left. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Bullets. Oh, for God's sakes. I've only got two lives left as well. I so don't think we'll be enough to survive a final level. Ammo. up back this way wasn't he finally there you go oh right save here quickly I forget what you have to do on this level um if not you can both message me on patreon and I'll sort you out uh get like contact details, Andrea and Robin or something. Uh, Robin, uh, Maud says it's recognisable music just. Yeah, it wasn't a really good version of that at all. I preferred the earlier music. Good Lord. Um, This is like Miami Vice, Michael Jackson edition. <laughs> Bloody terrible. Yes. Mm. Um, No, don't worry, you're not going to get bandana. Oh my god, it's really laggy. There's a green I got a little green target on the screen. I didn't realise I was facing the wrong way at the start of the game. Who am I supposed to be shooting? The blue or the orange? Hang on, I think you're supposed to be shooting the orange guys or something like that, or is it the blue guys? Let me just check the manual quickly, otherwise it's a waste of time. Uh, level for the arena, uh, it says, Mr. Big has kidnapped Katie to lure you to his lair for what must surely be the final confrontation. Troopers and stormtroopers are gathered together to finish you off with their powerful laser guns. Take out each first they appear, but we have the mighty plasma cannon. Mr. Big has installed it and he strikes for it destroys you. Can you survive to take the children to safety? Right, okay, you destroy everything then. I thought there may be like good guys helping you and they were bad guys in different colours or something. It's shoot everyone! Right, let's load this off again.
I'm gonna destroy that laser as soon as it appears. God, it's really laggy. And they just don't stop spawning. Oh, later. Why is this such a lag a laggy level? Hardly that much going on really. A few quite a few sprites. It's not scrolling anything. What song is this supposed to be um Malk? What? Why did I die there? you make me feel. Oh, now I, I do actually recognise it now. I didn't recognise it at all from the Amstrad version. What? I was shooting that laser! Push! Oh my god, it's so laggy! Limited ammo. It's, a, it's the bad guy count. I'm looking at. There's 80. What? I was shooting that laser. There's 18 red bad guys left. Right. I thought there was an ammo counter. 16. Look at the uh, look at the uh, heads up display. You missed it, guys. I have one life left though. case taking a snapshot here six five it's also been slightly slightly less laggy oh I think we've done it Oh look, he turns into a spaceship! Congratulations, you have completed Moonwalker! And there was the ending. <laughs> Sandstorm by Tori. Uh, Moonwalker, a new high score. Who's bad? You are! This game is bad! It could have been a lot worse though. It could have been a lot worse. 
score's out of 10 for this game, guys. Hey, Sebastian. How you doing? Hey, how you doing, mate? Osborne has heard better music from a tiger handheld. <laughs> and the music is Make You Cry. <laughs> I know you get mad about that, uh, Anna says. What's that? Did someone put your pay back? I never get mad about it. I never truly, honestly get mad about anything like that. Don't worry. I know you were joking. The laser looks a bit phallic. Of course you would think that, Retro on Limb. Of course you would think that. Maud gives it a four. Retro Limb makes the same joke I made. <laughs> retro Limb gives it 0.5. One out of ten because of the Michael Jackson animation at the start. Six out of ten. For the love of God, reboot the CPC. <laughs> Alright, Mel. <laughs> there we go. Alright, guys. We didn't get through a lot of games tonight. I think I promise on part two of the US Gold stream to maybe push through a bit quicker. Ugh. Well, this was the last one I was going to play tonight anyway, I think. Oh my god. Is it quarter three already? Bloody hell, I was meant to finish at two. <laughs> Alright, guys. Uh, I, I think I am I think I'm done for the night. I'm wiped out. <laughs> Retro Loom can still hear it. Let's see if any of our friends are streaming at the moment. Uh, we could perhaps just pop over and show some love to. No, everyone like has gone, like, gone long, long to bed. See guys, I stay up way later than the other UK and uh, UK streamers. They're all tucked up in bed by now, pussies. <laughs> I have no one to send you over to. You probably, uh, everyone's probably exhausted anyway. So uh, thank you very, very much everyone for tuning in. Yeah, there's no one else streaming at the moment. So thank you guys. Uh, we won't do, I don't think we'll do part two next week. We'll do something different on the AM stream. Oh my god, I, I've had the AMS chat bloody logo up all stream and, and I forgot about it. Bloody hell. Ah, uh, who cares? Anyway, thank you everyone tonight. Oh, we ought to run the roll the credits, shouldn't we? Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Where is it? End credits. If I turn this off, roll credits live, this should work should work hey there we go thank you for the donations from secret stalker simon osborne richard jimenez and el gorka okay gorka thank you as well to craig wilson uh, arnold judge west lewis jimmy simon and lucas for the the other donors via the super chat there um thank god this worked tonight because we've been using the new youtube streaming interface um and it all seemed to work all right tonight um just checking something on the stream now. wondering what we got up to numbers wise tonight 80 80 odd plus uh yeah concurrent viewers at one point so that was good so thank you everyone for tuning in tonight take care have an awesome weekend hopefully i'll have a, uh, a long play and review video for you on monday um maybe pay patrons members of the AMS would let me know what you want me to do for you on sunday video thank you johnny boy and <laughs> top tip there thank you thank you maud robin smoothie sebastian uh retron limb Texi, uh simon <laughs> andrea again matt corbin anna and zombie pete and, and uh, yes again Matt thank you Matt thank you everyone take care I'm off to bed I'm bloody exhausted <laughs> I'm, I'm glad this week is over oh the am stream has like put a nice end on it for me for a tough week take care guys see you soon uh, I'll probably sit, might pop in on Nova Book stream on Saturday and I might oh, I'll almost certainly pop in on Yellow Bellies on Sunday as well after party on discord I might be on Discord for about 10, 20 minutes while I shut everything down and make notes and stuff. So see you on Discord maybe next. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Take care. Good night and see you soon. Good night. Bye.